And we are back. We're back to another episode of the NTD Podcast. I am your host, Jeremy. To my left is your host, Michael. Michael, how are we doing on this new year? We're doing all right. Hey, new happy year. new year, Happy brother. new year. Happy new year. We're back. It's Juancito, been like, happy new year. Uh, yep, shout out to Juan Tito. Happy new year I haven't to Juan, Juan Cito. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me, yeah, I don't know. He's chilling. He's in the cut right now. Demon. Jeremy, where we cup. been at? Where we been We've at? We've had like a, a month hiatus on this thing. I know. I and that, that was unplanned. Quit. I think even last episode was we like officially announced. It was like, all right, we're doing this every two weeks now. We let the we let our millions of fans know. We're like, all right, we're coming out every two weeks now. And um, and then it's been like a month, no drop. Yeah, yeah, Everybody's no like, yo, Jeremy, what's good? What's good? Talk to your man Juancito. Is he, is he slacking on the edits? Yeah. What's going <laughs> on? I don't see a fucking. What is going on? With what's the going kid? on? Where's the episode? Where's the content? Where's it at, guys? We got COVID. We guys. got COVID. That was it. We got COVID. That's it. It's a we got confirmed COVID. Confirmed not, COVID. Not like not the before. Not, nah, the, not we were talking Matt oh, COVID shit yeah, the last episode yeah. though. For a year now, this podcast should be called uh, the COVID conspiracies. The COVID conspiracies. But oh my god, I, I feel like it's like a it's like a a year to the date from when I thought I had last COVID too. I, honestly, you know what's so to funny? Date. When I was looking at like text threads from my like you know safety guys and. People I don't really talk to like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like literally a year from the day I got COVID, I thought I had COVID last year. Yeah, legit. Mm -hmm. Which is very, very weird and mm -hmm. ironic. Spooky. But we got COVID. <laughs> we got COVID. <laughs> we got COVID. <laughs> that was it. That's and, it. And now we don't anymore. Well, we, don't. we don't. Supposedly. <laughs> Supposedly. Even yeah. though I still I took a test, I'm still positive as a motherfucker. I don't know. Wait, what for the, real? Of course. Yeah. That shit don't leave you. You could be positive for like I, three I, months later. Yeah, okay, so I think, oh, yeah, no, you're right. I think the thing is you can't transmit it after 10 no, days. No, after, like, five days, you're not, you like, like, you're not. That's uh, when you can leave quarantine. What do they call it again? I was going to say, for real, I got, oh, out, the, I got out the house. I went straight to the school. Uh, <laughs> I no, went to no, work yeah, ASAP. No, no, right now, if you take a test right now, you could probably come back positive. Yeah, okay, Most that makes likely. sense. That makes you're sense. You're not contagious anymore. That, yeah, that's what it is. I was like, you you're can't not give contagious. It, you can't transmit it to nobody. But you're positive. You're definitely okay. positive. Mm, positive. Because my job wanted me to go back Monday, and I was like, you need a negative test. So I gave him a time. I'm like, I'm positive again. Ah, I forget the negative test. Just come back Thursday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, bet, yeah. I, bet, I bet it is just come back. Well, anyways. That's what the that's what the state's it says ten days quarantine. Yeah. And after the ten days, as long as like you don't like feel symptoms. Feel like the craziest symptoms. Like yeah. if your cough is mild and like they say that the loss of taste and smell is the like that's did you the get longest. That? I did and it came late. And now it's like and it's kinda like on and off now. I don't know. I, I have the smell or taste that you have because I didn't. Both. Get, I didn't get it. I think it was. I got the smell worse. I still have a smell of fart though, or my shit. Like that's when I noticed. Like, cause I had oh, them would, them flu farts, them and them, them you didn't hot smell ones, nothing. and you get, and you don't smell, and you know you 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 the ones you shoot that you know it's gonna smell. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You're waiting. And it never came. Yeah, it's been like a whole month. I ain't smelled the fart. I ain't smelled nothing bad. How I can about smell taste? Like, How did you know taste was gone? Taste. Um. Taste. It's not even that it was gone. It was more like it's not as uh, it's not as strong. Okay. Because it's just like I feel that because I got like this tingling sensation in my nose since it started, and it's yeah. still there. Yeah. It's still there. Like it's just like like it's like your nose is hot. No, it's kinda. like it's like I need a sneeze. The sneeze is you know got the tingle in uh -huh. the back of your nose. Yeah. Like yeah. The sneeze is right there. It's gonna come out. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. been having that sensation for like two weeks now. Okay, but, so, but you can't smell. No, Can I'm smell? good with smell. Smells are good. I've Even been the first, because it was like when I had the bad. I had every symptom except for like shortness of breath. I, I had think. every symptom except, uh, yeah, the loss of smell and taste. Yeah, so my loss of I didn't have that either. Like I ran when I had my bad symptoms, like the fever, the body aches, the chills, all that. Like I had that for like three, three and a half, four days, and then after those went away, then that's when I lost my taste and smell. Word. And now they're like they come and go like I guess it's weird I smell like good stuff or like and like my mom washed the dog and I can smell his shampoo kind of or like my mom like when my mom cooks I can kind of smell it but like I said like I don't smell like no bad shit like I haven't smell Wait. I don't smell when I take a shit well, when maybe I fall none of maybe that. this is a good thing that's about a good COVID thing, right that's a good thing it took out the bad smelling took senses out the, <laughs> give me the good that's me, it good shit only and with the bad out with the bad in with the good that's it yeah that's what we're rolling with that is twenty twenty one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, I really want to get into how we both got COVID 
at the same time. Yeah. But you know, like I, I just I got this funny feeling, right, that mm-hmm. this this info we're gonna get back to the wrong hands. You mean so, the, the feedback from this? Yeah, it's just gonna the, get it's gonna like this is like it's gonna be traveled to people that I don't want to kind of uh-huh. cause at the end of the day, it's my podcast, and you know I say fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I go. say fuck it. Okay, right? What are yeah. we gonna do? What are we Not gonna do? Talk about what happened. This so show? where were you a little irresponsible for COVID nineteen for the for I mean, New Year's Day? Kind of New Year's night too. Not, I don't think that not even that no, much though. Not no. for New Year's night. What's the? I mean, well, I, my so, so like, let's what, throw it out people? there. Let's throw it out there. Yeah, I had uh, me, me personally, and, and mind you, right? This is the day before. No, this is New Year's Eve, right? What was that a Friday? New Year's Eve was like a Thursday. No, was it, was it a Thursday or was it a Friday? It was. A, I think it was a thir- It was a Friday. The Eve was on a Friday night, I think. I thought the Eve was on a Thursday night. I got and a we had Friday, right here. Saturday. Let me look at this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the Eve was on a Thursday, right? Mm-hmm. That was on a Thursday, you're right. So that day I'm at work, and all of a sudden, my girl hits me up with the... The old folks are kicking us out the house. We got to throw a party at our crib. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. get, get me in. I was uh-huh. like, how nice. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, at first I was like, fucking COVID and all this bullshit. But look, we've done worse. Yeah. Christmas was worse. Christmas, yeah, Christmas was worse. Wor- qu- way Christmas worse. was like, a, like it was closest. Close to regular. Closest to like, th- like Thanksgiving. It was close almost. to almost regular. Yeah. Uh, uh. Rosario Garcia household yep. uh, fun- functions and, and functionality. Yeah, yeah. We, we talked about that. So yep. um, what I threw was very light in comparison, I guess. But but I did. I was thinking about COVID. I do have mm-hmm. a two-year-old at the house. I'm like, yeah. mm-hmm. But fuck it. You know what? I've been with these she guys. She was up with us that night, too. Oh, she, she was <laughs> up. She was up. She, didn't. she was good. She was. Anyway, so fuck it. I threw the party. And we had about 10... I feel like we had the budget. We had the budget. Like we, boom. We didn't go over budget. Where? We weren't that Where? far under. But I mean, like no, we, no, weren't no. We, weren't, we weren't frugal we either. We weren't frugal we either. We weren't we were right on budget. We weren't. If Gina would have came over, she would have had a fit. You think so? Gina would have been like, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Right. Maybe. I just. It yeah, always. Cha- I mean, it maybe changes. We, we could. We could have separated six feet apart. Ten people in my house for sure. Were we absolutely not? I don't but, know. You're already in the house. Fuck that. But. You know what? No, you're right. You're right. It wasn't as bad. I don't think it was. Uh, yeah, I didn't think. At least from what I remember, it's just like, yeah, I feel like there was nobody at your house like that. It was. It was like, it was half, like ten of us. It was like ten of us. It was like ten. Of but us. then, like three people left, like yeah, before okay. the ball dropped. Okay. No, you're right. You may be right. It's, did we it, get it, it that day? day? I mean, like, oh, did we get it the next day? It's I don't irresponsible, know. generally speaking. Like, yeah, niggas ain't want to throw n- people throwing parties, but like, no, we shouldn't yeah. have thrown parties. No. Maybe not. Well, fuck but fuck. But was I dying to have a party finally? God, you goddamn God, Skippy. Yeah. You goddamn. Hell skippy. yeah. Uh huh. Was I happy to throw a party? You goddamn Skippy. You goddamn right. Was I was I thrilled to take all the bottles the next day to Jesse and Steven's house mm-hmm. where we all probably got COVID? That's that was that was probably the that day. was the that was probably the yeah. it probably wasn't my house per se. Uh-huh. We were very light over there. It was ten of us. Mm-hmm. Maybe we could have got COVID that day. Maybe not. Jesse's house the next day. Yeah. On the on the deck. Definitely, that day. That was definitely that was a COVID day. spreading party. Oh yeah, we all got it. Uh huh. We all was fucked up. After everybody that. got COVID. Everybody, everybody fucked. The everybody. dog. The do- <laughs> everybody. everybody. <laughs> Mind you, we had a good time, man. And we did. That I was had a good, good time. Man. I had a great time. Charcuterie boards and fucking. We had a charcuterie show. There was two of them. There was uh, yeah. He Shout did. Out to uh, Jesse. Uncle. Shout out to Jesse Shout with the char- to, uh, charcuterie. Let me tell you something now. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you, my new favorite snack is crackers, honey, and turkey. It's the best thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. honey. I got honey at the, the crib. Charcuterie oh my god. show. Oh my god, it was it's amazing. But uh, um, uh, I was in the car that day, so whatever. Uh, it's, yeah. it's New Year's Day. We're at Jesse and Stevens' house. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, we decide let's hit the liquor store. Liquor's running dry. Dude. Apparently, everyone forgets that the. The day there's no liquor stores open. I always island. forget. I forget. I Everybody was like forgets. ready to go to liquor store. Of course you were. Fuck yeah, uh, liquor store. No, it kind of gave me anxiety through the beginning of that day because I was trying to drink some more and I was like, "Yo, the liquor store is closed." And we got, we got, we only got like three Coronas. So it was me. Was, it was me, Stephen, and um, and Richie decided to go to the um, 
Oh, that's liquor right. Store. Yeah, I was kind of lit by that point. We decided to go to liquor yeah. store. We go to Mass, right? So we're like, we gotta go twenty minutes out the way, and then we gotta go pick up this Chinese food. Mm-hmm. I want to say as soon as we got to the liquor store, Stephen got a text that one of his coworkers tested positive. Ah. Uh, as soon as we got to the, li- I'm telling it like he's uh, driving. I'm in the back seat, but bang, yeah, my coworker, man. <laughs> I am me. So I'm saying, yeah, I you know me. what? You know, yeah, he's like, you know, I haven't been at work. I haven't been in the station like four, four days, three, four days, or whatever. So whatever. But Stephen was at my house the day before, anyway. So at this point, I'm just like, okay, if I got it, I got it. What are we gonna yeah, do? Yeah, yep. Okay. So we continue partying and whatever, and drinking. Mind you, I, I was most, I was mostly amped up to to do all this because yo, we never get. These long weekends on... I mean, we never get these things on a weekend. Like, usually next day I got to go to work or... Mm-hmm. You know? Yep. The first land on a Friday, I was like, fuck that. We're going hard. We're going hard yeah. all weekend. That's what I'm saying. That's why I was so... I, yo. I am going hard. Fuck COVID. It's time. It's time. And COVID said, um... Get the day, me. Get the day. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Get the my nigga. The day. Where you going? Get the day. When so, you, yeah. let's talk about when, when we... Got when did we all uh okay? When did we get this call from Steven that that he got it or that he I think he was getting tested first, yeah. But he had symptoms, he was like, I got this. Shit. Well, he already had symptoms, he had symptoms, but he since he's a first responder, he had a 20 like one of those quick 24 12 yeah, hour yeah, shits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he told us right away. And I remember the day he told me it was like it was a Sunday before I had to go back into work. Word, and I was fine that morning, I was I fine was good. For, for most of the afternoon. He told me, I was like, Where? I Word. and like the whole my whole theme this year is like yo I don't Jeremy got the vaccine. Where I had the vaccine the no, whole no, year. I, I've I, in my head I've been got Corona. Like, yeah, I'm, right. I'm Corona immune. Uh huh. I be in the sun working all day. Vitamin D. I'm good. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The fuck yep. out of here. Yeah. So I had Kayla take a test. You want to go take a test Sunday? Uh the day after because I literally so like I got the text right. Whatever. I was like oh fuck. All right, cause feel better. Chilling. Chilling. I worked out that day, and I kind of went hard on the back. I was like, you know what? Let me get a good workout in. Because we're going back to I'm going you know, back to that you know, being, routine. Being on, in you know close proximity to COVID, it's probably not a good idea to work out. But yeah. Go ahead. And like, uh, well, they say, well, that's another story. But anyways, uh. like, and I work out, and like, I went kind of hard. I remember like my upper body, like my torso was mad sore. And I was like, you know what? I was hitting the back hard. I was doing mostly power shots. You know. That's all it is. I was a little sore. Sure. This is like an hour after they texted me. I, and then I go to, to to my parents' house to work, eat dinner. Yep. I got a little cough. I was like, nah, I just been drinking a little too much. That's I haven't drinking a lot of That's water. I, I don't outside. feel it yet. Nah. I'm good. Mm. And I saw it, I drive back home uh, from my parents' house. Getting ready. I was like, all right. I keep getting a little symptom. I keep getting it. And I was right. like, what you feel? a little bit. The, the aches started, they started coming mm. in more. Mm. The call started mm. coming mm. in. I was like, nah, 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 nah. I just got to drink some water. I try to drink mm. a bottle of Essentia. Mm. Nah, mi hijo, tu tienes COVID. Mm. Siéntete ahí, quédate quieto. Mm. And I was like, and then the next day I got my test. Uh, and then. When I, you woke up that Monday, you was you knew it. I was, you yeah. knew it. Once I that woke was a up, fact. I was, it's over. Yep. It's over. Yep. So this is all going down. I think Kayla gets a test too. So you got your test what? Monday? You got your results I got, Tuesday? Uh, I got my results Wednesday. Positive right away. Po- right? I, yeah, but I knew it was positive. But you knew it. You knew it. Kayla goes right because she got the she got the vaccine joint coming up too. You can't have it while you you know you go get your little vaccine shot. So she gets it. She gets a test and she's she's negative. Oh, I'm good then. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Shit. Yeah. I mean this girl boning all type of shit. She don't got yeah. it. I don't got it. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yep. So I'm good. I go to work. Fucking Monday, Tuesday. Every I feel great, bro. I'm telling you, I feel good. Like, I'm. Nothing, mm-hmm. fine, no sent, nothing. Tranquilo, I, quieto. Quieto, I'm Gucci, right? Uh huh. Wednesday night, uh-huh. I like Wednesday night. So I get up with my boy. Mind you, this <laughs> that's another story. What fuck? I get into. I get up with my man. It's Wednesday, right after work, right? He said, "Yo, I got a hoodie for you. I got some work shit because he works construction too. He's a safety guy. He be having all this free shit. Mm-hmm. Come, come through. Let's smoke. Give you all this shit. I went, went, grab all this shit from smoke with him. Bam. I get home. I am tired. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if it was because I had a long day. Because I was going hard that day. I yeah, went, yep. I am beat. Yeah, right. yep. But it's regular. I'm just beat. Hop in the shower. Mm-hmm. 
Nah, I'm tired. I'm tired. Even if fatigue. Yo, fatigue. I'm like, yo, Kayla, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna crash a little earlier tonight. You know, my early's already early, so yeah, my yeah. earlier. Was, my boy fell asleep at four forty five. It was like six thirty. <laughs> It's like six thirty. I'm like, bang, yeah. Uh-huh. I don't feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> six thirty. I'm telling myself, yo, I don't feel good. But I'm mm-hmm. just gonna, well, we're just, uh, you just tired, Mike. We're gonna. I wake up around like twelve midnight, bro. I'm sweating profusely. Yep. Through the yep. Achy. I don't, I'm not feeling right. I'm not feeling right. And mm-hmm. and I, at this point, I'm just in my head like, I don't got COVID. Kayla just got a test. There's yeah. No yep. way, I don't go, I'm not with nobody else besides work, home, mm-hmm. maybe one of my boys, we chill real quick, that's it. Yep. There's no way this is COVID. Not a shot. I should go to work today. Right? <laughs> <laughs> In my head, I'm like, on, what this is f- Thursday morning, right? I'm like, I'm going to work. <laughs> you went to work that no, day? No, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I'm okay. just saying, this is three in the morning, uh-huh. right? On Thursday, right? Wednesday night, Thursday morning. I'm like, I'm going to go to work still. I'm going to, I'm going to thug this out. Yeah. I don't got, this ain't COVID. Bro. Uh-huh. I wake up at three. I head downstairs, bro. I was exhausted going down the stairs. Yeah. I made it to the kitchen. I said, "This is a bad idea." Yeah. You need to go back upstairs right now. I got. Wait, they go tell me. I hit up everybody. I needed to. Yeah, listen. I ain't feeling good. I'm a hot. Let me me on you. When I got a test, super positive. It was over. Super, <laughs> yeah, over. super it was over. positive. Then my girl said, yeah. like, no, you got to quarantine in the bedroom by yourself. Uh-huh, We're going to uh-huh. come. I'm going to get over here. Boom. I'm going to go take another test to be on the positive side. I mean, on the safe side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She takes the test two days later. Positive. Oh, my, that's it. I'm back around the house. Mm-hmm. Fuck every, everyone in this house got. My daughter oh, wait, got. Kayla tested positive too? Yeah. Again? Like, like the but she, day, but she didn't happened. get like crazy symptoms? or Never. She nope. got like a runny nose. Right. Ain't the Kendall too? Kendall tested positive, but she never. Yo, she had no signs of nothing. Not I don't know about. Know. I don't know what's up. What's up with babies? I guess they don't really show symptoms like that. But yeah, they this say girl, like kids, unless you're like an infant, like kid for the most part, like they're not that. This girl's running around all day, happy as shit to be home all day. She never had a fever, no nothing, but I, yeah, I don't know. No, why not Rara, indeed. So, Rara encendido. So that was it. Fucking COVID. COVID for the whole Yeah. For the whole squad. Yeah. We had a COVID party. We had a, we yeah. had a COVID spreading party. That's oh, what yes, we did. Yes, we did. Sorry guys. We we came in twenty twenty one. Hot. Twenty twenty one came in hot. I disrespected COVID and COVID said, Oh yeah? <laughs> Tomai. Oh yeah? Got you Slot got slapped in the mouth. To all those COVID. that say COVID ain't shit, you lying. Yeah. Why are you lying for <laughs> like that? <laughs> yeah, right, COVID right. was whooping my ass for two days. Two days. <laughs> two days. I'll give it a solid maybe two and a half days, but it was whooping my ass those two days. It did, yeah. It whooped my ass, bro. Mm-hmm. I was feeling like shit. I had the, the I think the worst I had besides it, I had a fucking a headache I had. like Yo, a headache that lasted like four days. Yeah, Legit no, for, four days. Four days for you? It was four only days. like a day and a half for me. It was me, a legit but, like, four days of this fucking headache that would not go away. I'm just like, oh, what? Yeah, COVID's yo. weird, yo. COVID, yeah, yo. It is. It's He's, a weirdo. Weird. <laughs> He's a weirdo. He's a weirdo. Fucking weirdo. I was I weird, yo. It's uh, the one thing. I shout out to all my family that they came through. My mom made me some soup. Brought Word. It over. Word. They got me some juice and shit like that. I was just fucking do sabe. But yo, I was in that. I was in the crib, dolo. Fucking bored out of my mind. Out of my mind. I TikTok saved my life. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I, I got a TikTok, and TikTok saved my life. How so? So at what point did you? Cause you you ended up migrating back to work. You said fuck this, I can't take this in there, and you had to go after like six days. Yeah, you just couldn't take Basically. it no more. After my sister flew back to Cali, you said fuck it, let me go infect the old folks again. And well, cause apparently I think that was a bad idea. No, because apparently if once you test positive, you don't you can't get it again after like uh, eight months. I, well, maybe they eight say eight months. Mu- okay. they say they said six to eight, or eight months. Yeah, but you couldn't take it out four more days in the crib. Nope. Wow. Tú sabes una aburrimiento, una locura que Bro, me metan. Me Everybody in the world Bro. was going through it. You the only one? What? No. You no. No. But four more days. But you had people in the house. Who had people in the house? You had people in the house. When I was quarantining? Yeah. Who? Kayla and Kenny. True. True. Okay. Yeah, I got family in the house. I have family. Yeah, and I wouldn't have gone over there if they didn't have positive already. I'm not a fucking savage, Michael. No, that's still a savage move, my nigga. In it was a savage of, move. The, in the middle of someone telling you, you cannot leave this house for 10 days, don't do it. This nigga said, I'm going to my parents. Fucking mm-hmm. six days I went in. To, I went fuck to, it. I yep. can't do it here. I went over. Mm-hmm. Just like that. 
That's that's wow. Now I I look. I said, yo, this nigga Jeremy is a wild boy. Yo. Yeah, dude. Why is he I'm such a? I'm a dude. Better <sighs> is I knew better though. I wouldn't have done it regardless. And you my mom, like, my mom had a big lesson in the house when he tested positive. Then he came back from Florida. That nigga was in the house with a mask. Yeah, nah. And I said, fuck that. If y'all letting no, let that nigga in the house, there's no, they, they don't give I'm a, coming in the house. They, uh, what's, what's the, I, let, I let my sister I let my sister be in the clear. I shouldn't do an address out there. But that address don't work, though. They they give a fuck about COVID rules over there. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Nah, you got COVID? Nah, come through, my nigga. It's all good. Take a couple shots. We're cooking over here. Yeah, I was drinking that we're weekend. Good. We're good, my, we're my, good. I, already, I had already run through my symptoms for the most part. For the most part. I was, there's a part of the back of my head I was like, I'll tell you damn, what, I might just I be on I don't want to say this. Because I know Kayla's going to be listening to this. I didn't stop smoking during um quarantine. And every time I smoke, I got worse. Yeah, and, but I, I could, bet. I got worse. <laughs> I bet, bro. The symptoms got worse after, every time I smoked, but I couldn't not, not smoke. That's like, what, yeah. It's too boring in this bitch. Like, I can't. I can't. You're not going to have me confined in this house. Yeah. And I'm not smoking. Was I getting worse every time? I Yes. Yes. I felt yeah. it in my chest small. I, I was, bet you, I bet I you did. Like, yeah, I, not, that's one thing I didn't do. I, and not, I had edibles. I was lucky enough. I had some edibles. I, I took. I didn't have but even I, then, I was like, I'm gonna wait till like, I'm gonna wait till the fever goes and the chills go before I. Like, I didn't, I didn't take. wait for nothing. I waited three days for to start taking some edibles. I was shivering outside and my chuck still smoking. Like fuck it, I got, I gotta get high. I gotta get high. There's no way. Mm-hmm. Um, what's some lessons that you learned from being by yourself those six days? Lessons? Yes. Fucking lessons. I don't. I got a few. I I I had a lesson that I would. I I guess I can't stay in a house dolo like that for more than five days. My Maybe video game I'm career is absolutely done. That's it's another over. one. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. It's absolutely over. I, at this point, I'm like, I'm like, I should sell this PlayStation. I'm not buying no PS5. I'm gonna buy it's the over. PS5 just because it's over. There's gonna be that one game. That There's I'm nothing open. about a system that even attracts me anymore. Like, I, I play for like two minutes and I'm just like, yo, this is such a waste of time. Like, I could be doing anything else in the world right now mm-hmm. besides this bullshit that's doing nothing for me. But that's what COVID's Done. Co- but Done. That, that's what kind of got me upset because it's just like, yo, if there's any time to feed on some shit, it is now. And I had no no, no desire yeah. to do that at me, all. Yeah, me neither. I'm talking about my boy gave me his P- PS account. He's like, yo, I got the Spider Man on there. I might go ahead and go crazy. I played that shit for like an hour or like maybe an hour and I just said, yo, what am I doing in my life? Like, what am I doing in my life? Mm-hmm. Honestly, well, I'm spending an hour. Nah, all set. All set. With That's number one. I'm done with video games. Mm-hmm. Number two, being confined in the house for two weeks is tough, bro. It's tough. It's fucking tough. It's tough. It's fucking tough. Especially when there's nobody around. I don't even have the neighbors downstairs. I had nobody around me. And it's... um. It, it, that's why I said TikTok low key because it, it reminded me of like when when I had uh the Vine days because Vine was fun to be on and just scroll shit and waste time on Vine and it vine, reminded me of Vine and kept my spirits up because it was just like I had that and I had a the fucking Tom's like I watch I not like watch OD but like probably I would say at least like set like maybe like upwards of thirty episodes of the, his Tom Segura's podcast just ran on my TV. I slept with it on. It just it just ran while I was on my phone. Which one? Your mom's house? The, your mom's house one. Just ran the whole time. Just ran. And it, that Shout out to your mom's house. Yeah. It's a good one. That is a good one. That's a, yeah, they're, they're fucking no, wild no, on that they're, one. They're retarded. They're fucking, they're yeah. Retarded. So you seen him bust his ass and break all his bones and shit? Yeah, yeah yo. That, God that damn. Tough. That, yeah. That was probably <laughs> the most unathletic fucking thing yo, I've ever seen in my bro, life. Bro, that's... But I'll give him this. He did bang on a nine foot rim. I was right going to say, it that. wasn't... Yeah, he was... He banged on a nine... I didn't think he could do that. That must have been a freak accident. Just a freak accident on his... A freak of a freak of an accident. Yeah. But, yo, uh, the funniest part of that video, though, I don't know, like... Because if you saw, like, the extra 10 seconds after, like, the fucking impact, yeah, yeah, the dude I came did. over and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and relieved his arm from looking crazy. Yeah. Thank you. His arm was looking crazy for his 10 seconds. Looking crazy he was looking up. crazy. He just, he, he had a, he, he just, just like, uh, yeah, no, nah, yeah, <laughs> just place it. Wasn't even no, like, no, 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 <laughs> it was bro, gone. His own arm, out, out, like, done. Oh, <laughs> it was my God. A whole different way. God damn! Yeah, in the video you can hear him say, "Yo, look at his arm! Yeah. Came, look at his arm!" <laughs> like, oh like, my god! Arm all, yeah, it was fucked and up. And apparently, it while he up. was recovering, he got COVID. He in, got like, COVID. The yeah. Recovery center. Yeah, good. So that was a shitty way to end. Yeah, I started my year. So even before I got COVID, my fucking car broke the fuck down. That's another story. Fucking three hundred dollar bill. 
Oh, at least it was only three. Yeah, well, I wasn't that bad. I, I thought it was going to be worse. I thought, yeah, this caused. So, yeah. So just, okay. Apparently, it was the radiator, your, your I sister, guess. But yeah, tell us. Yeah. Your sister took your car, right? Because she mm-hmm. wanted to go home. Yeah. So this is like, mind you, this is what, 3 in the morning now? Were we, were we there that late? It was kind of late. I thought no, it was like tw- it, no, it was like twelve. No, nah, it was, was pretty fucking. No, it wasn't three. Home, for, it was at least. A, when you got home, maybe, but but I, when I got home, she called us like, "Yo, I'm, I uh, need help, frantically. Like, I need help. Come save me." I was up, oh, fucking, got back in the fucking yeah. and went to go get her. And I was fucking wasted. She called me. Well, you know two. why you was wasted? Cause she's like, "No, Jeremy would never fall asleep on me." And she's blowing you up when I got there. And you not here. I'm like, oh, "He's asleep. He's drunk. Yeah. He's drunk, drunk." Yeah. No, no, Mike. Nah, would was, never bro, trust me. I woke up. I, I woke okay, up at like five yeah. in the morning, like one of those wake ups where you thought you just blinked your eyes and you yeah, woke yeah. up, and I was like, "Fuck!" Like, but yo, and I said, "Body's calling me and all this shit." I was like, yeah. "Damn, I'm a shitty motherfucking older brother, yo." Like, I'm a good. shitty older you brother. Good. But now she good, got, bro. I almost, cause I think I called, I know I called Steven and I don't know if it was Steven or Jesse that picked up. I was like, yo, I might need you to take me to fucking, and that's when she told me like, okay, they might go on their way. So shout out. Thank you for that. Cause you saved, that was a headache, another headache. So yeah, when I got to that car, like, I don't know. She said, yo, it's sounding funny on the highway. I hopped in it. I took, we're in the South side too. I'm like, oh, this is a perfect street that we're on wide open. I punched the shit. I'm like, oh, this shit feels good. I don't know what you're talking about, Bonnie. I'm like, I'm gonna hop on the highway, see what it does. Mm-hmm. Hopped on the highway. As soon as I got on the on the on the on ramp, that thing was it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It was I bad. I heard. So, yeah. so you had a, it was apparently the radiator. So three hundred dollar radiator plus yeah. COVID plus COVID um, plus um, I'm getting charged for the couch I bought now. So that bill came in. Oh, <laughs> hold that. That bill hold came that. in. You know what's the funniest part? I bought a snowboard, right? I bought a snowboard. Oh, you bought cake. a snowboard? I bought a snowboard, right? Boy. It comes in Wednesday, right? Uh-huh. Wednesday, the day that, that I was just getting COVID, right? Yeah, so I yeah, got yeah. it. I got the package. It was easy. Going I'm hitting up it, Jeff. Yeah. I'm like, yo, we're going to go with the slopes this weekend. Yeah, yeah, fuck. We can social distance in the slopes. Hell yeah. We can- <laughs> Hell yeah, because... Yeah. Two hours later, I don't feel good, Joe. Yo, <laughs> I'm up, bro. So I still got a snowboard and it's wrapper in my basement. Yeah, waiting to fucking get. Um, back to COVID. Who's the blame? Should we all take blame? I think we all. I, like, I, I, yeah, it happens. It happens. We all knew, I guess, what we what get. the risk were. We yeah. all knew what the risk were. I mean, uh, at least that's at least, why, we, at least nobody that's went to work. I, I kept telling Steven because I know. I mean, I have never had to do those phone calls yet. Thank God. Uh, actually, no, I did. I, I called a couple coworkers and mm-hmm. the ones that I actually worked close to and said, "Yo, listen, this is going on and shit." But um, that's a lot of phone calls he had to make that day. Yeah, There's a lot of people. That was one thing that was good. I was like amped about. I was like, at least I don't have to call nobody. Like he told me. <laughs> And I hadn't been with anybody else since. Uh, that there was day, like, so there was, was like, like, okay, children. He was hugging and shit that yeah, day. Yeah, he was. Like, <laughs> yo, for real. <laughs> that's one thing I thought. Yo, a bad, <laughs> it's a bad day to play stepfather <laughs> Stephen. Let me tell you, he was to play <laughs> Uncle Stephen that day was a bad day. Oh, he was. Being, they were all on top of him too. He was being the best Godfather. He was being the best. Oh, Godfather, my best. He was being the best. He was being the best Godfather that day. I'll tell you that. Boy, did that that didn't come back. That that came back. Yeah. Um. No boy. No. No boy. No. Um. So now that we okay. Let's get let's get into it real quick. What are you do you have any um uh developing thoughts of of COVID itself? COVID's real. COVID's, COVID's real. real. I give him that. I didn't think it was real. Like, this shit ain't real. You didn't think it was real? Like how though? Like, like you didn't uh, think people like, were getting like, sick? At this or point, like, it's like how did I not get sick yet? Like how right. did I not sick? I, I okay, let me not say it wasn't real. I thought I had it already. For sure I had it already. Yeah, I did too. I'm immune. I'm good. Cause we disrespected COVID in the last that last month. Yeah, I I was disrespected. I was COVID. done. I was out of my I'd mind. Been, I was like, I fuck been this out shit. of COVID yeah. rules. I said fuck, I, not fucking masks. Cause I don't want to be that guy neither. No, we was wearing. I know what you mean. I, I'm, I was on Michael's. We, guy, right, listen, mm-hmm. listen, y'all. Mm-hmm. We weren't out here wearing no masks. Saying this shit ain't no, real. No, 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 yeah, yeah. We yeah. weren't out I there storming that, the Capitol. We were not on that time. No, 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 no. Definitely not storming the Capitol. Definitely not. But when it comes to close friends and family. We were yeah yes like, at this point yeah, I'm just cl- like you know what yeah we're taking the risk we're close friends and family that's you know? it fuck it yeah well, I'm taking the risk what am I gonna do sit here and act like a fucking very true the rest of my life very true um do I regret it eh, maybe 
maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking <laughs> hella shit in that group chat those first three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <clears throat> Yeah. Damn, I, I kind of wish I had it. Two weeks out of work, real quick. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yo, yo, I, <laughs> yeah, shit, yeah, yo. They said, they said, oh yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. COVID said, oh yeah. You need two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Take your fucking two yeah. weeks, yeah, boy, dumbass. Yeah, my uh, and I, I'm gonna preface by saying this. Yep. That this is just these are my, the thoughts of of uh, an educated burnout. That sat in his bedroom. And this is the thoughts of Jeremy Garcia. This does not reflect NTD podcast at all. <laughs> this is not our feelings here. NTD. This is strictly and even, Jeremy and Garcia. And even after, I, even after I say my what my conspiracy is on this, I'm gonna go home and tell be like Papa Dio. You know it's joking, right? No, no, Papa, no, it's always Papa a joke, Dio. Papa Dio. It's always God, a joke, Papa God, Dio. This is a joke. I'm, I kid. Yo. All right, you got a sense of humor. We got a sense. Of, this is a joke, bro. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Chill. From what I heard, yep. and I, this is my dumbass who doesn't do any extensive research. This is yep. just yep. me, just yep. my thoughts. Just reading my some headlines. Yep. Crazy Go ahead. Yep. The yep. Headlines. Yep. I feel like COVID was always around mm. on some level. Mm. I feel like the powers that be in the last, what are his, like last year and a half, mm. um, decided whether it was to test for or saying for whatever reason it, it may be. That this is a pandemic, or like the, we all have this, but like this shit just feels like the common cold in the sense that, yes, like, yes. there's like either like everybody has it, but you could have no symptoms or you could have the worst symptoms, and then and then it brings you to 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 think like, so how mental is this shit really? I'm not saying that people aren't testing positive for it. I'm not saying that it's a fake disease that people are like that. The mental? Government, how? What do you mean? Like, is it mental? Like, like when it comes to you, like like <clears throat> like. Your symptoms and how symptoms you deal with real. it, like so how how your mental will, af- will affect your symptoms and whether like how how much is gonna affect you because unfortunately, th- it's real in the sense it's that people real. have people have died. I know people who has who has close friends and family that died from it. I don't want I don't want to make it seem like I'm disrespecting that at all. Um, but even then, like I was reading, like you know that dude fucking Martin Screlly, the dude who yeah, bought the yeah, Wu Tang yeah, album yeah, all this yeah. shit. The one that had, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah, I read on the news. And it's a credible news source. I had to Google it too. It's AP News. I think it's like Associated Press or whatever. He like he tried another second bin for he got um he's been in prison for like uh yeah for fraud and shit whatever. I won't get into that. He put in a bid to get it reevaluated, and he said that part of his bid was like oh that he's susceptible to COVID because of his mental health issues in there that he's developed. So it's getting me thinking like yo, how mental is this really? And it's just like when you have the core, like everybody talks about and knows, and we've all even on some level experienced sort of like the the state of mind you you get in when when like this shit started and how real it was and having to quarantine and isolate for five days and or fucking ten whatever it was like. You know what I'm saying? So it's like no, I don't know what you're saying. What I'm I still don't understand how like mental how like I don't like how does like how because like, they say that how your mental health affe- affects your immune system. So it's just like I, and 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 this year just like having to deal with COVID and like being home and like not having you know the quote unquote new normal has fucked with a lot of people's heads. Unfortunately, it's led to like so, a lot of like suicides think, and stuff like that. And you think just, all of that is fucking with our immune system? On some, maybe on some, uh, maybe on some level, I think about it like that too. I think it's just like, yo, like for whatever reason, like maybe like, like what happens if like they just never test for it? People just treat it like this was just like the regular common what cold. Treated, treated it just like the common cold. Like, like okay, would there, if have, there been, wasn't, would there if, have been as many deaths? And again, this is just me, yes. a fucking dumbass. The, the deaths kid. are the deaths. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, like, I mean, I've been screaming like months ago. I'm just like, yo, why don't we just everyone just just. Just let's all get it. If they go, they go. Right. Forgive me. Forgive me for saying this. Right. But what's the difference you? between the COVID and um like the flu? The flu yeah. that would have caught your grandpops at eighty two. Yeah. With respiratory fucking. He right. probably. He probably <laughs> if I would have went down too with this, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah. If I I hear what you're saying by that that if we never p- put a name on this. Yeah. If this was never a thing. Right. And it just was going around. Mm. We would have called it a winter flu. Like right. this is the flu right. going around. So yeah, so I guess my conspiracy is just like they for whatever reason, I'm not gonna get into it fucking aliens and five G and where, like where Biden New World Order yep. and Biden and yep. whatever Proud fucking boys. Trump, all, all this that. shit, the all boy prop all that all like that. it all like, ties in why they why they ties in. why they made it a thing. But it's just like I feel like this was made a thing, maybe. This was 
this what it the, didn't maybe necessarily need it to be. And again, this is me I being mean, a but fucking this, we are we are only Papa Leo, I'll talk to you where, when I get home where after we this. Are, we are 30, <laughs> 30 and 20 some year olds and you know, yeah. we we could beat this. It's not a problem. Like, exactly. You know, I right. like I I was scared for one of my coworkers, dog. The dude's old. Like the dude, I don't right. know, he's sixty I mean, something. Yeah, my grandfather had. And I'm it just too. like, yo, dog, I've been next to you. Like, are you good? Like, I don't want you going home, bring this to the wifey. Right, right. Shit up as my phone starts playing music. Right. That I can't stop for some reason. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't. I, I, you know what I mean, I felt. Yeah. Everybody else, dog, that I work with, if I didn't call you, yo, bro, you be all right. I mean, yeah, I wasn't yeah, worried yeah, about right, you. Right. I keep it down. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't worried about you. Right. You young enough, you be all right, bro. Yeah. You caught. You got COVID. Guess what? That's life, bro. Yeah. You got COVID. Because people thought th- people thought I was gonna go out and like start hitting up every coworker. Like, dog, dog, dog. Listen, you might <laughs> listen. How I know I didn't get it off of you? Shit. Yeah. Right. Listen, you figure it out. Figure it out. I figured it out. You're gonna have to figure it out, bro. Right. Right. But the OG, I was, I was like, yo, I had to call him. Like, yo, you good? Like. Yeah. You sure? You don't feel nothing. You good. Right. And he smokes like a chimney. I'm talking a two pack a day type of right, yeah. American spirit since yeah, his yeah. last long. He's he's blown yep. every, every yep, second yep. he got a bogey in his mouth. Yeah. I thought but he was, even though there's even there was even people earlier last year saying that oh is like nicotine might be a Ah, like, yeah, that's what but, I'm saying. Let's not, let's, right? Well, early I, I, I don't want to get into it. Early in the year, there was all type of shit. Was yeah, that's carried what, in your feet. That's my point. Wiped that, down your yeah. sneakers. Nah, 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 we're not getting into it. Yeah, we're not. We're not. Nah, 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 nah. Not nah. more than we already fucking oh, yeah, had yeah, these yeah, last listen, 30 listen. episodes. Listen. This is episode 31. We've been talking at, about it for 30 episodes. At least 30 episodes. No, no, 30 episodes. We the had, only episode we didn't talk about this was the fucking pilot. The pilot. It was the fucking first episode. That's it. Ever since then, COVID has been. If not the topic, a topic. So I'm but just listen, glad we already got it. But listen, we got it's it, right? Us. We you have we what? have about a, we have about shout eight out. months of, of immunity until Word. we get shout it again. Shout out to Biz One Cave, right? I don't know if you was binge watching that because I, I think that's way better than your mom's house. Way I, I think it's better too. But he was all like he was also off it for a while. So so I like the fact that he said to Tom, he's like, "Yo, you're in the best stage of it. You just got it, right? You're probably immune for the next eight months." Yep. In the next eight months, we're probably gonna have a mass vaccine of this shit. Yep. So I think we caught it at the right time. I think we did too. I think we caught it at the right I time. I think we did too. Perfect tail end. We don't gotta worry about this shit uh-huh. for eight months, and hopefully in eight months we all take the shot. Uh huh. And fuck it, we all. I mean, another. We all uh, back. I, I don't we know. Gotta if take we wanna, two shots, I, but yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't know if we want to get into the vaccine fucking conspiracies already, but. All those people are like, am I taking a vaccine? Yeah, you check the dumbass up. You're going to take a vaccine at the end of the day. Right. At the end of the day, you take you're going to take a fucking vaccine. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it no more, though. Right. You're going to take one. Yeah. All right? You like your little job? You like me? You're going to take a fucking vaccine. <laughs> if not, save the fucking <laughs> yeah. home and fucking crumble. Si, I don't care. I really don't care. Si, senor. All right? So when we all catch this back, I think we got, so I think we caught it at a beautiful time. Our timing mm. was good mm-hmm. with Corona. Yes. Yes. Okay. Speaking of, uh, uh, I broke COVID rules during Corona. Uh, we all know that you did because I told you to stay yeah. in the house. You didn't yeah, stay in the house. Yeah. We know you did. Oh, yeah. But I broke some rules too. So you came at me. No, you don't. No, damn. No, no, I no, 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 okay, no, 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 no. Mine's a little different, right? How? A little different because I'm not staying with nobody. Yeah, you know I mean, and I didn't. I went to go pick up my dog, right? I had a dog that all I had to right, pick up. Okay, yeah. All right. I had to pick the nigga up uh-huh. on the Friday, right? Uh-huh. This is the. Two days before I get off of quarantine, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm all right, at least I'm a little closer than my day off than you was by two days, okay? Mm-hmm. And when I picked him, we, we outside to pick him up too. It's not like I was in close proximity with home lady and mm-hmm. I had my mask on. So I think she'll be fine. She'll be fine. I got yeah. my dog. We're good. Does the dog now have COVID? Do Probably. dogs get COVID? Probably. Let me tell you something. I don't know if it's just my pup, but this is a lazy bastard. Oh, yeah? He's a lazy fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I hear puppies like that are supposed to have big energy, too. Yo, bro, this is a lazy bastard, dog. He's a lazy one? Bro, dog, he don't want... He don't want to go on for a walk. He's good yeah, with walks. So he got the, the backyard, fatigue. The fatigue is hitting I think, him hard. I think, I think he got COVID. Um, that's what I'm guessing now. The dog, I think... Pobrecito. I, I think he's going to die. He should die. Mm. <laughs> he should die. He should die anytime. <laughs> He's gonna die. He's gonna die soon. Right? Oh shit! Two thousand oh, dollars done again. He's gonna die. I don't know. I don't know what's up with this dog. Right. He's very lethargic. Mm-hmm. He uh. He's never that excited. 
I don't know if he's sad. Because he don't like you guys. I mean, I did take <laughs> I, t- I took him away from his mom and his sister. I wouldn't like me neither. Yeah. You know? He'll forget it eventually, though. I'm hoping. It's been a week already. <laughs> like, yo, look, this is your house now. Just get, get used to it. I don't know what to tell you, my guy, but. You gave my man COVID, son. Nah, I think he got COVID, bro. I think he got COVID. Besides that, though, dog life is good. Mm-hmm. Dog life is good. Um, I can't complain. He really don't. He don't shit and piss in his crate, which is great. Mm-hmm. A couple accidents outside the crate in the crib, whatever. We reprimand him for it, but uh, I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give all my fellas out there a quick shout out. Yo, if you are single, if you are a single male out there, I'm looking at Jeremy by pr- my peripherals. Hey. Yo, a dog is a good it's a good investment. Is it? It's a good investment. I've been half my house is carpet, bro. I oh no, no, no. All right, no <laughs> you crazy? Maybe not for you. Maybe not for you. That's alone. Maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alone. But let me tell you something. I've I'm all approached. I'm already starting to, I'm thinking like, yo, I'm always, a, I need I need a job for the weekends. I've been approached by people about this dog mm-hmm. six times already. Mm-hmm. Minimum six times. People go, oh, he's so cute. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Pu- puppies are the best. Uh, especially with the Blanquitos. My white folks oh, out yeah. there, I love you. Damn, y'all love dogs. Y'all go hard for mm-hmm. dogs. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. He's nine weeks, huh? I could tell. I'm like, mm-hmm. holy shit. This is, uh mm-hmm. oh, I'm not gonna bring my puppy over here because he's not he, you probably didn't get all your vaccinations yet, but when he does, we're gonna come over to have play dates and these are my new neighbors I've never talked to a day in my life. How friendly my neighbors are all of a sudden. I have a dog. Mm. The friendliest. Mm-hmm. I've never, never, never. You also got the full house dog. That's the thing. You got the full house dog. They look at that dog and they're just like, oh my. Yeah. It's like, he's an automatic attraction. You got a fucking pit bull. You got a bully up in that They're bitch. walking away. They're walking away. They're walking away. Maybe not Maybe not as a puppy because even pit, like. Yeah, they're cute. All puppies are, even regular pit bulls are cute. Like, but like uh, pit bulls. To a point. To a point. But it, it depends how you raise the pit bull. They still they got them. They got them fierce motherfuckers. Yeah, ugly. I've seen some uh, uh, some uh, nice blue noses and shit. It's yeah. still ugly. <laughs> but yeah, what, you got, like, you got I the full house, I, like I, I brought this motherfucker in a Home Depot. I'm just like, y'all, either I'm gonna get kicked out or they're gonna. I'm gonna have a good reception. Yeah, they love them. They love them. Of Coworkers coming. I mean, work is going up to them, fucking petting them mm-hmm. and shit. Like, you got your white car right there, buddy. No, it's a definite, you got, that, definite, you got definite, your gringo definite, car with that golden that's retriever, that's, baby. My white neighbors <laughs> love me right now. They all oh, love yeah, me. Oh, yeah, bro. Cops are on your side. No, for sure. Cops are on your sure. side right now. <laughs> for sure. I don't need to put the Black Lives Matter thing no more. I got to no, go. Yeah, yeah, you got to go. <laughs> they love me regardless now, my neighbor. Yeah, do sabe. If I could just teach this dog how to take a walk without being scared, uh-huh. I don't know. That would be nice, but whatever. Speaking of cops... Who the fuck was on duty uh, oh, at the Capitol last Wednesday? No, was it last you know, Wednesday? It's so funny. Like, I can't believe we haven't had a podcast talking about this yet. Like, I know. When like, that shit happened, I was like, hey, I was like, I remember I telling you, I was like, yo, you good? Uh, yo, your 10th day is on that Sunday. Uh, yeah, no, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the last thing I, look, I haven't hit up Juan Cito all yet for a reason. I, mm-hmm. You have COVID, yo, the last thing you want to be in is in the side of a 10 by 10 room talking for two hours mm. last thing i was like yeah, listen sunday i was running around doing god knows i was in every store for no reason mm-hmm. for no reason i had to get out that house yeah i don't know how much cabin yeah. fever you had mm-hmm. but bro enough enough for me to leave day five <laughs> <laughs> all Word. right but uh, i'm gonna Word. say this again where they 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 were in a grace period they were in a grace period all right and that's moms and and pops and Word. big less Word. all right Word. if if kobe gonna get me they gonna get me at my crib with Word. my family, and they gonna get them too. Yeah, nah, they they was alright already. They was already. That's my point. They was already already. I my sister, I give. I was like, my, I let my sister go. Okay, my sister. So, she the doctor. She so, gotta so she gotta if, live. If she gotta make the vaccine. If Bonnie wasn't here, you would have already been to work. Day one, you would have been like, I, I'm migrating to work. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, you crazy? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if if I. If I would have had, if I would have known I had COVID before Kayla, right, mm-hmm. and she was negative and I was positive, I would have been shacking up. I would have been like, "Yo, Jeremy, guess what? I'm your new, I'm your new, uh, I'm gonna be on his couch, yeah, for the next ten days, yeah." Or I would have been, I would have went to Stevens' house. No bullshit. I almost went I to di- Stevens' house. I didn't know that I had. If I wouldn't had symptoms since that Sunday, I'm telling you, I would have never stayed in my house. I I almost went to Stevens' house because, uh. 
But the only reason I didn't is because even like so the ups like Jesse and Jamie and all them and Drew. Yeah. Like they they didn't they, have they, it. they they know they got it. Yeah, but but they they got it, the they got it way. I was talking shit. Yeah, he they, was talking shit too. Yeah, they they didn't get it. Like they they got it later too. So yeah, I was yeah. like, right, I'm not gonna go there just because Steven doesn't like you. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But then by the time I found out they all had it, I rented my symptoms. It was the weekend, and I was like, all right, my sister left. I'm going. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So back to uh, uh back to the back to my Trump supporters. Back to over the there problem, going hard, boy. So um, so they had a little uh. A gathering, right? Outside. Our th- our threat to democracy, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're calling it. Ah, they had a gathering out there, right? And look, so they just decided to go to the Capitol building, and and what happened? Like, did it looked like the 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 the, the Red Sea was parted? Like, they just yeah, they yeah. just said, ah, right, let's just get out their way. Yeah, let's get out their way. Let them yeah, do, yep. do their thing. Yo, 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 bro, yo. I don't give a fuck, dog. Yo, what side you on? The scenes of that. Were fucking nuts. Like it was the optics great, yeah. of that is fucking. Bro, it nuts. was nuts. No, it was that you shit have was nuts. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of on a fucking, literally breaking into a state. And build, Congress a, was. They were still in there. Like they were hiding. Building. They're hiding in there, bro. Yeah. Important documents are in that building. Dog. They disrespected the vice president. Now on the desk. They're taking the podium. They're taking bro. laptop. Yo. Bro, if you really think that if that was, if you think in your right mind. That if that was minorities, they would have got away with the same thing. I really, we cannot be friends anymore. I'm telling you, I, I don't care. Not a shot, bro. This. We Not cannot be friends shot. no more. They wouldn't even made it on the steps, bro. bro. If you, you are fucking naive as fuck. If you really think, if that was a fucking BLM fucking rally, and mm-hmm. they decided to march through the fucking Capitol building and stop breaking shit. By the fifth step, Yo, sixth bro, step. you're telling me. Dun, dun. I'm talking about, there wasn't a rubber bullet shot at nobody. I like there was like, one. There was one. I saw one video of a cop shooting somebody. Uh, yeah, I, I think like a lady got shot. It was like okay. Yeah. I think it was like he was like, but he was like, yo, back. I don't even know what it was. Like they were already inside, and the police were like more inside trying to hold ground. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't understand because he, he boom. He, like there was already breaching the windows, and like a lady was going through the window, and and, and he he, he caught said, a right in the chest. That. Yeah, tell to, to it, and it stopped nobody. I tell you that. They actually fucking killed a cop. Five people died. Five people died. Like, 52 cop, got yeah. arrested that day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, uh, again, I, like, I, I want everyone to get the facts straight because I hate the next day. No one got arrested. Well, a few people got arrested. Not enough. I'm not in no one's side. Not enough people got arrested. Mm-hmm. A few did. A few did. 52. Yeah, a few did. But, bro, that was wild. I showed it a bloodbath. It was a BLM. Bro, riot. I'm telling you, like, or not, a BLM protest, like, because that was a riot. You can't tell me that that was gonna be the same, like, like bloodbath. Maybe not, but dog, you're telling me I, more casualties. Yeah. I guarantee you more casualties. Hell yeah. The, the National Guard would have been there way faster. Mm-hmm. That shit was going on for hours, bro. Mm-hmm. Hours. Well, there was cops taking pictures. That that's, that's the scariest. Thing. That's the scariest part, there you right? Go. Because the people that stormed the Capitol, like, obviously it was a lot of, like, the white trash. Fucking people don't know no better. Where? A lot of these people are, like, ex-military, ex-fuck, the like, cops, people in uniform. Where? That, like, whatever, they don't serve anymore, like, that are fucked up in the head. Like, but, like, that are fucking, mil- like, that shit is scary. That's the scary shit. Like, there's, like, mo- there's, because there, 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 even the stories have been coming out within, like, the last the 10 days since then. Like saying, oh, this guy was identified. He was an ex-military, and he has affiliations with this fucking militia and all this shit. It's like, yo, that's that's kind of scary because it's not like it's not just some bumps from the way. It's like motherfuckers that know how to use white like weapons and know how to fucking they like know how to deal. Like they wouldn't, they know how to treat this like a fucking mission. You know it was a lot of like like I like I was reading a lot of like uh like a lawmaker in South South Carolina. Yeah, it's a lot like, of people like, that like we put our tr- like tr- trust, trust we, we put our trust in that are in that like don't, doing that shit. That do, what you don't know no better than fucking then you're not supposed to be fucking riding inside of yeah. A, come on, bro. I don't know what's it. What what could be your excuse? Like if you was in that rally and like you started riot. Mar- it's a riot. It's called it's a, riot. a fucking riot. And, and it started rioting. The fucking and terrorist you start attack. Going into yo, there's no excuse, bro. There's no excuse. I don't want to hear, I, like, I feel no sympathy for these people who are going on no fly lists again. Hell no. Again, yo. Yo, yeah, I committed, I mean. A uh, ill crime. A, a uh, crime. An act crime. of terror. And I hate, I'm not going to say I hate using it just because it's just like, 
There's levels, obviously, to the spectrum of fucking terrorism. But it is. But it's just like, yo, that is a terrorist act. What yes. y'all did, y'all yes. fucking tried to. T- y- y'all was a coup. That was an attempted coupish type shit. Coup d'état. That's a French ass word. <laughs> there was one chick that had like uh, that was actually going after files or some shit. I read there was she- some idiot who stole Nancy Pelosi's laptop try- and she was like trying to sell it to the Russians. To the Russians, bagged her. Uh, I laughed when I when I read that. I was like, "You are uh, dumb." I, want to shout out- I saw the picture. I was like, "You are dumb, lady. You look like a librarian." Like <laughs> she thought she was coming up, like. Homie that had his uh, feet on Nancy Pelosi's desk. Uh huh. That, that's a wild boy. That's the other one that had the podium in his arms. Like, Homeboy in the fucking smi- Bills Mafia. Yeah. Fucking yes. bro. Yes. Like the one with the, with the, with oh the, my with god. The Buffalo fucking yeah. Bill outfit. Uh huh. Yeah, they were some wild boys, man. Bro. Yeah. And, they, just... and they was getting away with it. They was getting away with yeah. all of that. And it's like, I yo, just, I asked myself too, though. It's just like, is this one of those things? It's just like, because we we also saw the pictures. It's just like, yo, this was what the Capitol looked like when there was a BL, a scheduled BLM Word. protest, Word. all that shit. And like, this is like hell of security is it one of those, out there. Is it one of those? Is a, again, is this one of those conspiracy type things that like whatever Trump let happen, like whatever the government let again, happen? Again, or is it? Is this really one of those things? It's just like, and it's also it's weird, right? Because. Like, no one knew about this. It's just like, I don't know about your social media feed in the summer. I know mine and a lot of my friends and, you know, family and stuff like that. Like, you, we knew the protests that were happening with George Floyd, all those BLM shit. Yeah. This time over here at the yeah. building, yeah. peaceful, bro, all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Nobody, at least, like, because there's, like, obviously there's two different sides to the internet nowadays. Like, you see what whatever your fucking yes. algorithm tells you to yep. see, right? Yep. Nobody knew this was going on except for that those. Except, uh, uh, for the rally? Yeah, the riot that happened last week. Is this one of those things where like the police like I knew I knew there was that they were protesting in DC. You knew they were protesting in DC. Sure. Yeah. Who are you follow? What do you be googling? Dog, I work, <laughs> what you be googling, my nothing, nigga? I work not around nothing but white folks. Yeah, That's all they yeah. talk. They no, love I, talking yeah. about right, what right. they do. I knew that they were out there protesting for days before that. Yeah. Okay. A couple days. There was they've been out there. Right, I guess maybe it was a little bit more on the ground. That's another thing that gets my mind going. It's like, yo, is this one of those things? Is just like, be a le- like a lot of this stuff is just like they ready for the BLM shit, right? Is it because like motherfuckers really just did this really just go under the radar? They really didn't think that no. this shit would happen from the right side. Yes, that's you, what I think. You think they is thought, that like they thought like nah, not nah, like this shit? Would I not, love, I right. love. Oh, I love the tweets from fucking from Trump that like just like, yo, like the tweets that was like, yo, if they. Like what was he talking about? Washington, if they go to any uh government buildings, they should they should be uh, uh what did he say, shot or arrested? He said something like that. Mm-hmm. Like no excuses, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as soon as his people's doing that, he gets on national TV, yeah. he's like, I know this is a tough time. Yeah, we gotta we bring, bring peace. Yeah, unity. We gotta bring peace out. Oh no, you now let's bring, let's bring the peace yeah. out. Let's Trump, not bring that. We gotta bring the peace Trump, out though. You dumb motherfucker, yo, I, yo, I'm bro. Telling you, bro. You a dumb motherfucker, like, bro. I'm just saying, like, there's no more excuses for not seeing it anymore. Like, you can't tell me that you don't see it. Right. You can't say that right. anymore. If Thank you say you. that, I can't. I can't rock with you. That's it. Right. I can't rock with you. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. We just. Yeah. Just. And I agree with you. I do think it's one of those things that you say. Like, this. This really just. It, 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 it. They just don't. They really didn't think it would. That. That was an issue. It wasn't like I don't. Yeah, I don't think that they thought that they would ever do some shit like that. Yeah, but again, but there was a BLM, BLM uh, uh, you know, rally or whatever the fuck. Pro, yep. There would have been a lot mm-hmm. of national guard. A mm-hmm. lot, a lot. Mm-hmm. Don't kid yourself, mm-hmm. dog. There was more, dog. The nights after George Floyd, there was more national guard out in fucking Providence Place more than there was. Yeah, at the, I, at I didn't know that, but wow, yeah, that's like no bullshit. Yeah, yo, you know what I mean, like, like I don't, I don't get it. Mm-hmm. I don't understand. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm telling, just the optics of it alone is like, yo, how could you not? How could you see that and think like racism is not like alive? Like mm-hmm. how? How? You can't. You cannot. And if yeah. you do, yo, I mean, psh, good luck. That's all I have to say. Good yeah, luck. I mean, whatever. Trump's out. Trump's out. Day. Today was his last day. Even going into today, I was thinking about it because like there was obviously a lot of security, and it's like, all right, this shit happened. There's no way. Like if Bar- if Barack Obama was fine after his inauguration, yeah, no, for sure. It's for just sure. like nothing's gonna happen nah, to Biden. No, nah, I don't. But think then no I'm, I'm thinking, I was like, I don't yo, think this no is what we for Biden said. I no, really don't. or at least today. And this is this is this is like obviously like whatever shit could happen. Like 
I'm not saying like, who, like, who are we to know anyways right, probably like, like, Who are we to know There's probably a my, my, the president my, Every day like, my, we don't know Yeah right And my, my point is like um, uh, What was my point <laughs> That was one of those days No my point I guess like, what I'm like uh, Oh yeah So this is what Like So it's there was a lot of security, right? All this shit for today. And it's just like, there's no way that happens. But then there was a little, there was a little thought in the back of my mind. It's like, this is the same shit we're saying about COVID in this country. And it's like, yo, what if some shit is going to go down? And so it was a little, like, I wasn't on, I was at I work. I didn't think, think nothing was going down. Yeah. Today. I was like, yeah, I don't even know, like, I didn't. Hey, nothing did. It, I was it, home all day. This and, at like 6 p.m. And I didn't, I didn't even flick the news on. Like, I'm just like, okay. The I, I was just waiting for the memes. The president is going, he's getting inaugurated. Yeah. Uh, this shit happens every four years, bro. Yeah. It's not like everyone's making like history. I was like, no, no, no. I seen Obama. I seen him. I'll tell you that, this. That's though. it. I don't. I will tell you this. What are you going to tell me? Um, uh, I'm glad. Congratulations to Joe Biden and Kamala congrats. Harris. Congrats, congrats. Uh, I'm glad that we can go back to uh, times where uh, our president get fucked up the world in private and talk to us word, like normal human word, beings. Word, word. And we're like Americans, like the Americans we are, to stand in unity word, word. and all this shit we got to do. Keep all that fuck shit yeah, away wanna, from me. I don't want to know. All right? I really don't Trump, even. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Trump, I really don't. that's where you fucked up, big I guy. I, I, on top of a lot of a lot of other things. I don't care. You was you was. That's part of the reason. That's even then. Like it's like yo. Obviously, this thing was wilding, and they have the right to take him off social media. But it's like part of me is like you think this is like preemptive. Like yo, all right, this shit happened. He's inciting riots. Is he really gonna go out swinging before the inauguration? Like they said, nah, Twitter, no face, all that. They banned him on no, all that. No, but he was. He he was already. Like, he was. That's because they banned. It was. They banned yeah. him because he was already on his but shit. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, the fucking left and Twitter is mm-hmm. trying to say, like, yo. I do bro. believe that, like, that whole, you know, obviously, there, it's the lesser of two evils. And I do, like, the obviously, just Kamala, uh, being in, uh, Kamala Harris being in office in general is just, like, good imagery for the young, for young women, for, for girls sure. like your for daughter sure. and, for you sure. know, maybe my future daughter, for sure. for, you know, all that stuff. Um, but let's not sit here and act like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on now, let's. They're not. They're, I mean, not. Again, this is the new president. I don't want to shit on the president. Yeah, I don't want to shit on him I've been, either. I've been doing four years of shit on the president. I don't want. to yeah. Listen. Again, my give me my two thousand dollars and y'all. Can, my day to day never <laughs> changes. Let me tell you. Yeah. My day yes, to day never you. changes, bro. I like. I just want this politic talk to be done. Like, I hope I don't have yeah. to hear about this shit. On a day to day for the next three years. Yeah. Next election time, sure. Let's fucking get right back on it. I right now, it, I think it's too late for that. I just don't, I know. I feel you. I don't care. I feel you, bro. I just yeah. I my just your can't. day, my day to day doesn't change either. And I'm not gonna. Changed. I'm not. I'm not gonna. It never act, changed. I never changed. I'm not gonna act like it does. I never acted like it did. And, but I also I'm not gonna sit here in front like that. Fucking Trump wasn't. A big uh, piece of shit. No, he I've been calling him being a yeah. piece. Of, but again, even him being in office, my day to day didn't change. Yeah, it didn't change. Mm-hmm. It was the same. I'm, that was one thing about work today too. They were really into today, like being like a day. Way. Yeah, like, like today, being like, like, like a like, celebration like, day. Even one of the emails I got from him, he's like, "Yo, uh, it, it, you know, uh, arrival cup today with the, such good vibes." Like what? everybody, obviously, like I'm not. If you guys listen to the podcast, I think you know where the place I work at leans. Uh, heavily. To, leans heavily. Heavily. And, um, yeah, I, don't, I just don't know where, I that, mean, again, where bro, that fits in education. I'm not, I'm not with the fucking <clears throat> leaning so hard either way. Like, I think right. that's like, yo, I know y'all love, I, I be having this little debate with my girl all the time. I know that's your girl too, but, like, AOC is cool. I like the optics. I love it. Yo, she leans way too hard to the left, bro. Like, mm-hmm. yo, like, yo, tone it down, woman. Just tone it down a little bit. I'm, I fuck you with you. He said tone it down, tone woman. It down. To- like, yeah, in 2021. Yes, yes, <laughs> He said yes, tone, tone it down, down, woman. Tone it down, woman. <laughs> That's the name of this episode. Tone it down. Like, like, for real, for real. Like, why? <laughs> ah, why? Shit. We, can't, we can't be in the middle. Like, we can't see both you sides. Know, you, know, you know what it is, though? Like, she goes too hard no, she does, to she, the left, bro. She got to chill. She got to chill. You know what it chill is? Chill out. I like her so much. It's because, like, you... We s- like her because what? She's Spanish and she's from New York? 
What's that's, that's what's up. That's two reasons. That's what's up. But okay. we also, it's not like one of those politicians that came out of nowhere. Like, you people, a lot of, like, they saw her. Like, she was just a fucking representative for, like, the Bronx. It's like, and she, like, she really did her shit. And she was really, and, she, and she's young. Yes. And, and that's why you could tell. And, like, she's, it's not coming from a place from, like, uh, like you need that energy right now. Do we need that energy right you need now? To, ba- to balance it out. And, like, like, it's not going to come from me, I'll tell you that. Listen, I don't. I think that's but, the opposite energy of what we need right now. Like we've had that so much in the past four years already of just, just pull a left, pull a right. Like let's just agree to disagree on a couple things. You know what I mean? I, it's just a level. Let's, let's let a couple things I, go. I, I, I will say this right now. It's just, it's just there's a different level of authenticity when it comes from her. That's why I like it. You think that she's being I, authentic? I do. I think she plays so hard. Like she plays it so hard to the left to incite people like. Like you and any other person that knows, like yo, fucking yo, yeah, this is my this is my chick right here, fucking you know, South Bronx, you know, Latina, New York, that like she, so she's playing it so hard to the left, like to incite like that type of. Well, energy. I mean, that's like, also part. That's it's also not that's, needed. that's just politics in general too. Though, it don't like. have to be though. It definitely it don't have now. to be, bro. They it don't have to. They be. had an inauguration playlist with MF Doom on it. It <laughs> bro, like this, this is where that, we're at. This is the, the, you think point. Biden begging to the MF Doom? Uh, Shout out to MF my, Doom, by the way. My, that's my whole. That's my whole thing. In, yo, it's getting so fake, bro. That it's unbearable. Yeah, no, okay. AOC is yo. That a lot of I her shit. She be talking. I'd be like, yo, I'm sick to my stomach. I'm sick to my like. Yeah, you're doing too much. It's it's really like it's it's like come on. Like she said, yo. Like one quote I remember her saying is like, yo, we should remember all Trump voters and all the Trump. And we should put their names on a list and remember who they are. Like, yo, chick, calm down. Calm down. We go all have a change of opinion. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you got to, like, yo, you got to chill with this. If they're on that side, they're the bad guys. We can't fuck with them. Like, you, it's so divisive. It don't, like, yeah, it's okay, so, I see, like, I see that. Like, yeah. come on, bro. You can't just draw a line in the middle and be like, that's them. This is us. You know what I mean? D- divided, we st- we fall. Like, come on. Like, what, what, what are you talking about here? Like, yeah, calm down, woman. Just chill out. Just fall back. Just a little. Think about what the fuck you're saying before you say it. Like I just don't. Boy. But she, she leans so hard. <laughs> oh shit! That she wants that. She wants that. Right. That 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 energy. She wants to attract those type of people like to follow her. Like it's not needed. It's definitely not needed. It's like I I the opposite of a lot of a lot of that like and the problem a lot of is that she's gonna examples. be like she's gonna be a presidential candidate in fucking four or five years. For for eight years doing the same shit, going two times, three times harder with her super left shit, and there's gonna be a, another person that's worse than Trump going super right. This is this is the this is the trajectory that we're in in this fucking country. It's fucking terrible, dog. It's gonna it's gonna. Pfft. You think this was bad? Yeah, I'm telling you, four four years from now, eight years from now, we're gonna be laughing at this Trump shit like yo, pfft. and we thought we had it bad with Trump. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I think it's gonna be more like I think it's just gonna be more of like uh, like The Rock is gonna run, fucking Ryan Reynolds is gonna run for office at some point. Like, <laughs> I think it'll be more I think, that I think way. I think it's gonna more be, phone, like gonna be a I don't know how dangerous it's gonna get after. Oh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I'm telling you, we already see the divide of the country. We seen the storm. We seen them going inside yeah. the Capitol building. That's not our people. Yeah, they don't fuck with us. No, they don't. Period. Don't ever think that yo whoever nah. was storming that Capitol. They think you know what they think of you. Believe it. Believe it. Believe that. Believe that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and there's no in the way that we have these AOCs or something, we'll never get those people to come back to our side. Like we'll, and we'll never see like if we're gonna keep like addressing people like that and like yo, we'll never we'll never see a it's gonna be like this for a long fucking time and get worse. Yeah. Probably right. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I do agree with you on some of the those like the extreme examples you sent, but it's just like fuck it. I mean, like something's got to give. We're all, we're already like yeah. I mean, this fuck. Who knows? Who knows? Whatever. Uh, let's talk sports. Damn, we've been on this ship. How long have we been here for? Now we know. And some change. This is a long one. It's gonna be a long one right here. Mm-hmm. Yes, I got a sir. Problem too, because I'm going to work tomorrow for the first time in two weeks and. I tell you, I have not been waking up at three in the morning for nobody. So is this going to be the the, the COVID capital episode? Or you want to talk? You want to talk some some NBA, some NFL? We could, we could NFL with. Uh, yeah, we could, we could. I guess. Well, it's not that much of NFL. It's more Brady. I want to talk about. That's really it. I think I think I think we got our Brady Belichick argument. 
Uh, I think that was. I think that's been proven. Yeah, I think that's been proven. I, I still think that. I think Belichick. I mean, gets, I think he gets. How many other pass. Pats fans are gonna go with like? Okay, can we admit it now that if we if you guys didn't have Brady, you weren't gonna be shit. I was oh. not gonna be shit. Hey, hey, hey! Now nah, I think hey, New England. You weren't gonna be shit. I think as a head coach, you still. Hey? I think hey, hey, no, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I think as a head coach, <laughs> as a head coach, you still got another year and a half. And there's like room, maybe you know who knows. Maybe we'll get Julio Jones next year. Maybe we'll sign fucking <laughs> some people. Cause that that's been the big thing for us this year. Is like we have Cam Newton, who's like a half wash quarterback with no. So with nothing can we else. get? Can, damn, I wish I wish I would have fucking um put a note, sticky note somewhere of like the beginning of the season, and where I predicted. The Pats to be, I think I predict them. You said under five hundred, and you were right. I, I was absolutely right. You was right. You said under five hundred. You, you know why right. I like getting my flowers sometimes. You, you right? got it. Thank you, you. Got it. Thank you. Under five. Under five. Yes, they were. It's okay. No, it's not. It's okay. all right. We rebuild no, it. No, no, no. no. It's all right. Hey, what, Listen, what else I'm, did I say? Did I say the next what? Five years? You're not gonna make the playoffs. You bugging? Five years. Five years. There's another four. To not make the playoffs. Not making the playoffs. You are bugging. Yo, the Bills are stacked, and they're gonna be stacked for the next. Yo, that quarterback is. For real, their quarterback. They're gonna real. own Josh. that division for the next four or five years, easily, easily. You think you're gonna have a? You think it's the regular? You motherfuckers think it's the AFC fucking? What is it? North or whatever the fucking? East. Yeah, the East. You th- you think it's the you th- NFC East? No, 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 no. Or you yeah. think? If, no, 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 no. Don't talk about the NFC East. Right? <laughs> we know what's popping in the NFC East, all right? Bunch of bum ass niggas in the NFC East. You think like this is the regular Bills again, huh? Yo, Miami's only getting better. All right, the only yo, you guys, if you're lucky, you weren't the Jets this year. You were, you were on track to be the Jets. We'll put it that way. They were on track to be the Jets this year. Good for you them. know what? I let Michael talk his shit. Um, we're gonna talk. I, shit. I, I New England. I I we're can't talk. I shit. can't speak for the rest of New England. I'm a patient New England fan in the sense that like patient. I can sit sit on six rings and just be like, all right, I can take a loss, a lo- losing season here, another one I, next I year. I told you, hey, to, I, to I said about my Red Sox too. To our 12s of 20s of fans, the, let me tell you what's going on in New England, at least in Rhode Island. A lot of Pats flags were being. Ha- I didn't see none f- flying this year. Not this those, year. Those bumper stickers, they were those plate covers. I wasn't seeing those plate covers no more. Let me tell you, I, you I didn't see the TB12 flag outside of people's houses no more. I didn't see it. I didn't see. I, this was year one. Yeah, well, I, I haven't seen it. I don't see. I haven't seen one person with a Cam Newton jersey on all year. All year. Last year, you couldn't go in a supermarket without seeing a TB12 jersey. Couldn't. You couldn't. Absolutely not. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Brady, yeah, no, he's having a good year, though. Shout he out to him. a great year, yo. Shout, Shout out, to, out to Bruce Arians finally being like, all right, I don't know what the fuck I'm He doing. literally said, I tell shit to my team. Yeah. They don't pay attention to me. Tom says it, and they're like, all right, captain. No yeah. problem. Yeah, yes. He's yes. the coach. He's the he head is coach. The one. He's the one. You give him. He's give Neo. Him, give him. Yo, that's he it. He is Neo. He's the GM. And the if coach. he, even, even if he at least he's makes everything. it to the Super Bowl, that's legend. Like, because it's like the three. He's it's the let three. Me tell, let me. He's going through the three goats of the quarterbacks that like. Because even like, the only thing that he that obviously Brady washed him in is rings. But people compare Brady to Rodgers for the longest. People think that Rodgers is a better quarterback than Brady. For the most part, just because of, I guess, his situation in Green Bay for the longest time. Not to say that Rodgers isn't a nasty quarterback. Rodgers is nasty. He's nasty. He's a fucking. He, apparently, he's gonna win. I, I'm not gonna act like I'm a fucking huge NFL. I, I watched the NFL, but he's, it, he's winning the MVP. This yeah, year. they're saying he's yeah, gonna win the MVP sure. this year. Yeah, and he's like what? He's like 38. Well, not 38, but he's old. He's, uh, he's older. Is he older. Drew Brees, another goat type quarterback. Drew Brees is old, and, and he just beat. Done. He just you know he. I think he's done too. He just beat Drew Brees. He's got to face Aaron Rodgers. Like, if he beat those two as a coach, yo, he's the GOAT. You can't, yo, he's the fucking, that's it. I mean, he already is. But, yo. I think he's the GOAT regardless. No, me he too. Could lose, he could lose to, to, he could lose in Green Bay this weekend, and he's still the GOAT. He's still the GOAT. Of course. So for him to take that team already to the NFC Championship, bro, like, what What did I see the other day? Um, The Cowboys... And the Buccaneers made it to the NFC Championship. No, in the last ten years, they've made it once, or oh, no times, and the Bucks made it once. And Brady's his first year, and like, like I said, like yeah, it's like, and that's America's team, the Cowboys. They haven't made the NFC Championship in fucking fifteen mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. First year in, this dude's already come on, bro. 
That's what he does. Winners win. He's he, he's a, he gives he gives he gives his teammates rings. I mean, in playoff and playoff experience. That's what Tom Brady does, bro. No, nah, he he puts on for his young boys. Um, did you watch the game? Yeah, you watched that. I mean, because yeah. the defense, the defense that was, won yeah, that his, game. The defense did the win. The defense that won that game that day. It was a it was a defensive game on both sides. Yes, I mean, it was a. Uh, um, yeah, because even I I watched that game. I was I got pretty lit by like the second half. Word. And after they they got that last one, they got him thirty. I passed out. I think, fucking. But yeah, I think it was like a breeze through like three picks, and they had yeah. that forced fumble, and they scored on all those turnovers. On all those turnovers. They scored on all those turnovers. And, but that's but that's what they're saying that that's the that's the Bucks' biggest thing is like they they'll put up like 28, 30, 35 points on you, but their defense sucks, and that's how the whole thing going to the playoffs. They were like, oh, as long as their defense can fucking stay with Brady, like. Uh, they that, won that, that game. team is gonna be and fucking I, Brady didn't a problem. Win that game last, last week, I'll tell you that. It was definitely a defense. He didn't lose it either, though. He 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 made the no, plays that he needed. But he to play. wasn't. He but when he was at the end of the field, he wasn't driving on nobody. I'll tell you that. No, no, he wasn't. You're like right. you said, all those times that he scored, it was off of them turnovers. Mm-hmm. They got super great fucking field advantage, and mm-hmm. fucking they scored. You right. Um, you right. How about NBA? How about all this the James NBA, Harden shit? Yo. That shit was crazy. That shit was wild. I, I mean, but they gave up a lot. They they're not that. They gave up a lot. lot. They gave up a lot for a year because they're not gonna resign them next year. There's no way. Fuck yeah, they're gonna. Resign you think him. so? They have to. You think do they have the money to, to to give? You think? I mean, I they, don't know if they got the money they, to do they it. They can't but, give three people but max contracts. You can't contracts. give out. You can't give out. It, local. You can't give out four years of picks, like three decent players for a guy for a year. There's no way. That was like some. That was what uh, the the Clippers did on some Paul George shit. They let go of their future. The future's gone. Mm-hmm. You can't. The future's gone. I have, we have no draft picks for the next four years. We have no future here. Well, and when it comes to developing talent, so we need these three guys to stay. That's what we're banking on. We're gonna make it work in the budget. These three guys have to stay, and we have to get veterans and and you know small like. Trust me, bro. When you have a three like that. Those vets are kind of come for the minimum. Minimum. To get a ring? Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, cheap, cheap money. I'll go over there for cheap money. That's what Miami did. Miami afforded three fucking, and this was years ago, mm-hmm. three max players. Mm-hmm. They didn't have no one around them. That was my, that's, I guess that's my question. You think, you think uh, James Harden will, like, he'll take a cup for a ring? He uh, definitely. He'd have, to, he'd have to take a big cut. I would I assume. mean, for, for I a roster to have KD, I, and I don't have the numbers in front of me, but for. I would assume that either KD or Kyrie, if not both, to have some sort of max contract. I think they team. both, but I think even Harden's coming out of a max contract that they still have to honor. Right, so, for a year, which means that when he gets, for they didn't really sign, he'd have to come in for cheap. They're not, all I'm saying is that there's no way that they're not all three coming back next year, regardless of what's happening. They have to. You don't demolish a team like that for a, a one-year bid and say, all right, you could go, like, trust me, they're staying. All three of them are staying. At first, I thought Kyrie was. Gonna, that's the one that I would be looking at. Like, all right, that's the thing. We got he's to, he's optional. Yeah, we're, mind you, we're recording this on the day that Kyrie's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming so back. So for the now. past like what 10, 12 days of basketball, he was gone. He was gone. Gone. Nowhere to be found. Mm-hmm. They have videos of him on Zoom calls for uh-huh. no matter. Whatever, I don't know. Whatever the fuck do with uh-huh. Um, that's gonna be interesting. I mean, did you watch the two games that they were together, James and KD? They look good. They look great, yeah. They look great together. They look great. But, like, then you add a third guy. You add guy the third that guy. Because uh-huh. KD don't need the ball. Yeah, I don't I think, think. No, he CJ McCollum said it the best. He, KD, there's no one that can stop KD. When KD misses, it's because he missed. It's not because you stopped him. Right. It's because he missed. Mm-hmm. You can't stop him. There's no. There's nobody in this world that's going to stop him from scoring a bucket. If he mm-hmm. missed, he missed. That's yep. That's all. So he don't need the ball in his hand at all the time. If we need a bucket, just give it to him. He's going to get you a bucket. Mm-hmm. These other two cats, they need that rock. Mm-hmm. I, don't see Kyrie, work, yep. I don't see Kyrie going off of screens and for picking pops. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't see that. I need. I see him taking the ball and dribbling it 50 times. Mm-hmm. But I, uh, I don't like... The only person I would have never gave up in that trade is, that, is the big guy, Jared Allen. Mm-hmm. Jared Allen was fucking crushing it for them, dog. Crushing it. I heard Lavert was Lavert nice, was Levert good, was but but you're gonna have to give up a Lavert to get a Harden. Yeah, like that's inevitable. Like he's definitely he was oh, he was scoring like 20 off the bench, 
super nice. You knew you have you were gonna have to give up him. Mm-hmm. That was like you knew that already. But Jared Allen, that big guy, dog, damn it, that's 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 a tough one. Mm-hmm. That's a tough because he was balling. Balling to the to the point that I thought he was gonna take DeAndre Jordan's starting position. That's how good he was playing, but I don't know. They're, 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 they're looking slim now. I tell you that. It's slim pickings over there. I just want to know Brooklyn. when uh, it's going to stop, when when the when the Kyrie headlines are going to come in even harder. And when it, when it, and then, like, because I feel like out of solidarity, like, they won't throw solidarity. him. Solidarity! 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 Damn, I wish I had the sound more. Yeah. Fuck. Anyways, out of solidarity, KD or James Harden won't throw him under the bus. And let's get real bad. But, yo, my man Kyrie, bro, he has he's a on history. Another, he has he a been, history. He's wild. on another time, dog. And if, every, time. If, if one of those three has to leave, it's definitely it's, Kyrie. It's going to have to it's be definitely Kyrie. Kyrie. It's definitely Kyrie. Kyrie. We love you. We love he's you. Gonna go. yeah. He's, yeah, he's gone. Mm-hmm. If, they, if Brooklyn's looking around and like, uh, we know if we got to get rid of one of them. We know who we're getting rid of. Yeah. Them. And it ain't James because he tell you that. It ain't going <laughs> to be James. ain't Harden, bro. No. no. Definitely. But yeah, that should be exciting. I still like. Yeah, I don't. I don't see my uh, LeBron Lakers losing. Losing. It's gonna be a good one. I tell you that. It's gonna. Be, I don't see. I don't. Not see. like they. They lost to the Clippers this week. Like the Warriors beat him yes. Like the other day, and like people are like, oh my god. I'm like, you think the Warriors are gonna beat him in seven games? You nah, out of never, your fucking never. mind. You are outside I mean, you of your mind. You can't win every game. Neither, no, you can't. Either. Exactly. Yeah. And the I'm, NBA. I'll tell you nice this. Nice teams I'm, lose the bum I'm teams not, all the time. I'm happy that Steph Curry's balling again, at least as of recent. That's so nice to see. It's nice because he deserves it, and everybody wants to beat Curry now. Everybody wants to sh- all the teams wants to shoot the three, and Curry's like, I, I Curry's back in his he's back in his bag. I mean, it, it was in the first couple of games though. He was looking like a sad puppy. That's because he had to take them braids. Them braids was too tight on his fucking head. He Thank had to you. get rid of them. Thank shits. you. Thank you. Way too tight on his Way fucking head. Way too tight. He was fucking everything up. Yeah, the whole bro. flow up of the whole game. Yeah, the whole flow, bro. He is so brazen. No, no, mad yeah. tight. Mad tight. Head, with a dog. feet in the back. This don't <laughs> make any sense. Come on. Oh, my but God. He, he's been balling out, and we're happy to see that. Yeah. You know? Um, I wish they had Clay. Wish they had a legit team. Yeah, that's a, uh, that is that is one thing I will say. Like, they're not taking a team. They're not being a team in the seven-game series, like a fucking championship team. I feel like, yo, but. But with Clay, but that's because they don't have Clay. Yeah. Cause even with without Clay, yo, with a Curry, though, I could be down seven, ten points in the fourth and feel okay. Like yeah. I'm okay. All yeah. I need is a couple shot, a couple stops. Give this little light skinned kid the ball right here. <laughs> and chuck we it. We good. We good. Chuck though. that shit. I'm telling. He was down. They were down by like, like twelve last night mm-hmm. on the Lakers. Though he just say, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, give me the ball. Mm-hmm. I I got this from here. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Ever since I got this dog now, I got like I began like puppy smells. Like I like, bet, yeah. I got like yeah. like like I'm checking my pockets to see if I got kibbles and bits in it. Like, <laughs> Damn, I just smell smell yeah. dog now. Like at least you like he doesn't have he, golden retriever. Has, they have hair, right? They don't hair. have fur. Not so they, hair. Yeah, so that shit don't get stuck in your clothes, which is nice. That's one thing about my boy. Shout out my boy Zero, but that motherfucker have fur. That shit gets everywhere. 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 I can't wait to. Eat. <clears throat> I can bring this out This little mud out To like dog parks and shit mm-hmm. but gotta, Yeah Needs a couple more shots I gotta spend a couple more dollars On this stupid ass mud Whatever Stupid ass dog Oh one thing Lil Wayne and Kodak I forgot Kodak Black uh, and Lil uh, Wayne Shout out to the ex-president Shout out to the ex-president Real quick You piece of shit <laughs> But you, you did some shit You did some cool Before you left I guess Free my man Kodak Lil Wayne Um Bobby Schmurter should have got the party. Why did he get the party? So wh- why 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 does why did he pardon everybody for his last day? Anyway? I don't just know. For so good, just for probably like a just year from now, like you you. But you know what I did though, right? Lil Wayne would still yes. be sitting his ass yes. in his fucking no. yeah. So fuck so him. So you can hold that over your head. Yeah, yeah. not for sure. What, and what's good with that? Like, do Kodak and Lil Wayne got a bang with him forever now? Cause it like I don't know, but I remember he did it a couple people. ASAP Rocky, remember ASAP Rocky was in trouble. He got him out of jail. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. ASAP yeah, had yeah we talked about this. Uh, 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 one of the ball brothers. Remember, he was stealing in China. Oh, yep, the 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 middle the middle, middle child. <laughs> it's so funny that me and Kayla like uh, it was like the other day. Lonzo and uh, the the what's the other, uh, what's the little one? Lamelo and Melo. The new went, face of the NBA. They, they fa- oh, God. <laughs> oh God! Don't get me started. Oh shit! Yeah, this yeah. shit. But they faced off for the first time and. Whatever, I'm watching the game, telling Kayla how, how cool it is or whatever, how little brother, big brother, you know, mm-hmm. 
grew up together. Now they're playing against each other. Oh, it was the middle brother in the D League, motherfucker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then we got into they the, signed into the they signed into the, the middle story. the middle child syndrome. Yeah, like, oh, maybe. they signed them because they were like, "Fuck it, let's just have all three brothers in the NBA." No, yeah, yeah. But and, but yeah, even then, yeah, the motherfuckers in the D League, he, uh, he got cut. He got cut. Sent to the D League. Oh shit! Again, you know, I was telling him about his 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 stint in China, how he got in trouble for stealing some shit. He mm-hmm. was in jail. Mm-hmm. Trump had to get his ass out. You know, the middle brother syndrome, the middle child syndrome. Mm-hmm. I guess it's real. Mm-hmm. I should call up my my brother that's the middle child right now and just just say hey. <laughs> <laughs> they see how he's doing. Just, you know? Wait, are you the youngest? You the I oldest? You the, the youngest. youngest. Okay. There's three of us. Okay. I'm I am the Lamello. I'm You're the Lamello. Oh, oh, oh. I'm the Mello. Flex on the Tokyo shit, Speaking boy. Mello. He said I'm the Lamello. He'll be Flex. better than Zoe. I think Zoe Zoe's uh, I think Zoe's way better. It's just like ball. Ball has a lot to do with confidence, and I think his confidence is shot right now. Yeah, like once you like don't have that confidence in you no more, you can't ball out. Like, yeah, yeah. Melo got all the confidence. Yeah, because and ESPN throws every he can make House any of pass. Highlights, Bleacher Report, oh yeah, God. everything, oh everything, bro. Does this is. kid have like a connection with social media? Is he like? Like how? How? Why is he so? Yeah, good. but he's been viral since since his, sixteen. Since even even before his, but I remember like the, for that, sure his high school games. We dropped like a hundred points to shoot. I from remember. He, I remember. I remember those. He scored a hundred points. Yeah. But like, god damn, dog, he can't make. He can make a simple pass, and he's top. He's top ten sports yeah, center. Top ten. That's look top ten this, sports look center. At this pass from Lamelo. Like it's incredible, Rock, dog. Oh, I yeah. mean, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to shit. I'm not shitting on him. He's doing good. Yeah, he's doing. His well, numbers he, say he's he a rookie triple of the year. double last week for sure. Triple, yeah, for triple sh- double. But god damn it, dog. Like, let's not like, let's not flex like this dude is like, God. Michael just took a a a, a, a two foot jumper from the chair to the trash and, and he missed. Yeah, I bricked it. Sheesh, I wish I had that on camera. Uh, <laughs> no, that's that's my that's like, that's just like Lamelo shot. Just yeah, <laughs> yo, for real. Uh, um, but on that note, uh, you got any good news? Good news. I um, no, I got no good news for you bastards this week. You know what? I've been dealing with COVID and fuck your good news. You know what's my good news? I'm out of we out of quarantine. We are, yeah, we out of quarantine. Of quarantine. We out of the we, we out of we it. Out the woods. Now we're, we're done. Um, any good news. Yeah, I got something. It's, I just read the headline, so this is poor Where journalism on my part. This is this is no, no, no. But this is, but it's a credible news source. So. This is how we get our news sources in twenty twenty one. We read headlines. I, I try my best to for for this segment. I try my best to. Uh, but in general, read we some, read headlines, though. Oh, we read headlines. Yeah, we yeah. don't. We, we're not deep diving in the article. No, give I me try some click, to give me some clickbaity shit, and I, I'm gonna read I, it. I, I read the headline. I, I have an hour in the morning at work where I'm on my laptop mm-hmm. and I'm mm-hmm. on the news, like Reddit okay. news. Nice. And I like, I click this head. I'll open like three tabs and I'll read like the first two sentences of each time. Like, ah, weird. Fuck weird. this. You know what? I was in a rabbit hole. Let's go ahead. Rabbit hole. You know what rabbit hole I was in during quarantine? The boss stool. Bar I was never a bar stool guy. Yeah. I'm still not because they're kind of like they're annoying. They're fucking annoying. They're annoying. They're annoying. I think they're fuck. funny. I think they they're have funny, a lot of funny personalities, but they're annoying. But they're annoying. I, I only like I. And I, I hate w- the how passive aggressively they fucking they pander to that to the right and shit like that. I mean, I guess like I no, don't they're suit. I mean. Shout out to Dave Pointnoy or whatever his name is. Dave uh, boy said Pointnoy. <laughs> that throw bucks money. Uh, <laughs> Dave Pointnoy. Um, <laughs> oh shit! But yeah, nah, he definitely leans hard to the right. He does. He does for the bag. But we talked oh, about no, it. We won't. We'll take the Spotify bag or we'll take the bar stool bag. <laughs> I'll take a bar stool bag. Does that mean that we have to go super right too? I mean, I only no, reason I would like, take a bar stool no. because I. I would have, love, I would love for this to be my nine to five, and I just come into like a big office yeah. where I just sit here and talk shit all day, yeah. and I go home and like just have mad money in my pocket. That sounds great to me, right? I, me too, yeah. So I would, I would take the boss stool deal. But that means w- w- any qu- any questions that we would feel regarding his bullshit or anybody else bullshit on the network, we gotta bang with it. Which is tough. I can see Ben with it not not only because not even out of loyalty, but you know Dave Porter would be the guy like, oh yeah, you want to talk shit, motherfucker. You out of here. Get the fuck Get out. Get the fuck here. out. Oh no, for sure. Like for sure. that's that's yeah. how he that's, that's how, how he rolls. That's his thing. Yeah, that's how he rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not fucking that's with how he's doing things, then yeah. So I I can see us having a short stint. To and secure the bag, uh, like, to secure the bag yeah, stint, like yeah, and then he's like, you know, what? I'm not fucking with just making enough money so we can start our own bar stool. I mean, I mean, at the end 
they isn't it a million dollar worth of game over there? So if you fucking want to do with like fucking uh Gilly and uh, Wallow, I mean I guess I guess there's space for us there. They they have like two black kid people. No, that's what I'm saying. They got they got a hip hop. Their name I don't even know them. I just know they. I've seen them. Gilly the kid. Gilly the kid. Okay. Wallow. Okay. Million dollars worth the game. I don't. I don't listen to their podcast because I think they're both annoying. But shout out to them. Mm -hmm. They're doing good. So Mm -hmm. shout out to them. Shout out to them. I can't wait till people. This is the year. No, no, don't worry. This is the year, Jeremy. This podcast will be. We're gonna. We're gonna. You know what? I got. I got a. I got a prediction. Dale. Let's get on a let's get on our Instagram real quick. How many followers we got right now? Like a hundred and twenty three. Hundred and twenty three? Some shit like that. How many subscribers we got on YouTube right now? I don't think I don't think any. None. None. Not even you? Besides me? Yeah. So Wait, I don't even think <laughs> I got subscribed to the fucking YouTube channel. <laughs> Hold on. We not we don't only, I didn't I am definitely not subscribed. You know what? 2021, yo, this 2021, dog. Yeah, it's 2021. I'm doing a new thing. My phone died, so I can't do it. Right <laughs> now. <laughs> so, but my prediction is that, yo, we will quadruple our traffic this year. It's happening. You can bank gonna, on it, buddy. Gonna bank on this. Bank We're gonna on quadruple traffic. I'm talking about listening, viewership. Instagram. You just lit a fire under Juancito's ass right now. We're gonna quadruple this year. This year. But you know what? Mid mark. By mid mark, I will have double by vaccine. By vaccine time, there will be double, d- double on all numbers across the board. You heard? That's how hard we're going this shit. I'm gonna get. You know what? That's it. It's all in. We're all in now. We're all in. We're all in. This is it. I need this to be my nine to five. I don't want to work. Me no too. More. I just want to talk wanna shit. Work. Yo. I just want to talk shit, bro. Have a coffee, talk shit, go home, get paid. That's what I want to do. We're going to make that happen this year. All right? Or at least we're going in the right steps. Yeah. You know I, what? I yeah, I realized, I realized these last two days, and maybe it's just because I haven't slept well. It's funny Word. you say that. Word. Because I was kind of itching to get back into work. Word. After quarantine, I was yeah. like, I can't. Word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I feel it. And I get there. And, and you're like, done. You're over it. It's like, yo, patient. Yo, the patience. Where, where'd it go? No, let me tell you something. Where'd it so go again, in those two weeks? I got to wake up pit. at 3 in the morning again, back in the routine. Dog, that alarm alone. I'm be so pissed. Yeah. I'm gonna be so pissed. I could I could already yo, I was already masterminding in my head how to hit up my job and be like, yo, listen, fuck it, just lay me off, yo. Yeah. Lay me off. I'll take I'll take unemployment for the next six months. I need to figure something out. I gotta figure something. And me going to work is not figuring this out. I'm not figuring it out like this. Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't. Uh, so um yeah, we gotta. Uh, I gotta uh, double. I gotta. I, I feel I'm gonna, you. I'm, I'm gonna be trying to work with one, one seat. I know I haven't hit you up this year. My bad. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And, you know I fuck G. with you, but yeah, well, I'm gonna have to start working with him side by side. Cause you know what? Yeah, bro. I'm told the line. I'm told the got, line I, at work. We Even got to. Somebody else got knows to. I got a podcast now. Um. And I'm just like I'm even like so like I'm even I'm gonna just say this now just for a story so you you know uh, those two the my one of two students oh the, the two just the, yeah 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 and even just like the, the the for one of them so they came in today they changed their that. name today so he's just like I'm over here he's just like all right I just got the now, what they didn't now, want like, well because they had a boy's name and now she has a girl's name oh when did that change this right morning. Now? I w- this morning. I'm, <laughs> on, time on, time on, time on. I'm just like right, I that, just. I'm that, just. Do they come with like a parents note that says we yep, not be- got the email? But I got, got the le- email. I got it late, so when she came in this morning, I'm just like, ah, oh, she, she on some shit this morning. Just whatever. <laughs> she, I, I love how I love how you say she's on some shit. She's That's some very shit. progressive of you. She's on some shit. This she's morning. on some shit. Hey. And then she and must then have like, a period. And then like I like. T- <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and then that's t- see, it's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just, I'm playing. God, this is in your hands. Like, Papa, the okay? No, no, it's always in his hands. It's, it's in your hands. It's always in his hands. Let me tell you something. Always but, in his hands. Go ahead. But yeah, he came in, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah. She, she came in. She, she came in. She came in. And she, I was like, oh, she just on some shit this morning. Like, she uh, just, whatever. She you didn't get the him. email. Yeah, email's well, not. And then, no, I got the email. I just, I, I went on email late today. Mm. Talking mm. about all this shit is happening. Mm. Mm. Like, you Good know, vibes. This is just like a nickname for now, which okay. she understands that like not everybody's gonna get used to it right away. But once she gets more comfortable, we're gonna get the paperwork done and we get the paperwork for the M to the F. All that shit. More power to you. I think that's great. But it sucks. You know what sucks about it? What sucks about it? Because you, you Cause yelling. Because I yell at. 
not like yo, like yep. I, cause and not for no reason. And it, it's not you know what I'm saying, but they they try everybody, and I'm oh no, yeah, and I'm my patient, try they'll try you, kids they'll will try, try you, you, but that kid will fucking try you. So it's one of the two, and it's just specifically that one that be always trying you. It's mostly that one, mm. yeah, but it's not even just trying you, and then also just like it's just a lot of stuff, and it's like I won't get mm. too into it because no, obviously they, no, she no. has a lot of being no, you know no, issues, no, whatever. No, but we got listeners, and I, there's and listeners I, and out there, there's listeners out there. Hey, and even though I, I try to be, my listeners, I try to be patient. I don't know what that feels like, right? No, you're right. And, right. and I don't know. Anyway, I like that. That I like being that. said, I like that. I like that. You I don't know what that feels you like. You can't so yell at a patient. girl's name. You can't yell. You can't like give you that verse. Like some, like for example, like somebody give like you. You just like Sam. Like you, sh- you can yell that. Can't be like Sarah. You lose your fucking like you. Know what I'm saying mm. like you can't yell yo, at a girl. What? That's your daughter. Where? Yeah, <laughs> That's your daughter. Yeah, okay. No, you're right. And like, I can't. I, I'm no me puedo meter lo pique like I no, could no, before. No. It's just like, yo, like Actually, even I, that's the last thing you want to do. Yo, you go to jail. So anyways, <laughs> good news. Uh, so apparently it was a single anonymous dormo, d- donor who gives forty million dollar fund to uh, fifty civil rights lawyers, which is really cool because right. a lot of the stuff with BLM, um, and just like uh, just. You know, social rights in general. A lot of the problem is, you know, a lot of these, a lot of black people can't afford good legal counsel, and like they get fucked by the legal system. So a lot of this money went to, I think, the NAACP, and you know, so hopefully legal defense for you know these types of civil rights and social rights cases um, will get better. So I think that's good news. Um, any shout outs? Uh, shout outs, shout outs, ah, shout outs to um, the family. Shout out to the COVID. COVID crew. COVID crew. The COVID, COVID crew. unit, baby. Everybody has made a full recovery, I think, right? I think, yep. I think everyone made a full recovery. <laughs> yes. Yep. No one's died. Um, yep. Thank you, knock on wood. To, uh, to the people we might have affected, we're sorry. Sorry. But I'm fine. I didn't see nobody. I'm good. So uh, if you're good, I'm good. Um, I got a shout out. Go ahead, shout uh, out. I got to shout out my young sister Bonnie, who yep. just got a job. Right. Um, and this should be a better shout out. I don't know exactly what the position is, but right. she was pre med. She's been looking for a while now. Right. And I think she's doing like nursing, basically, basically entry level doctor shit. Yep. She in got it out that, uh, in her field. That's what's up. So that's huge. So huge. shout out to Bonnie. Shout out to her. Um, and then another shout out. Shout out MF Doom. That was the last really bad news going into 2021. Surprise bad news, too. It's called now 2020 Deluxe because <laughs> his first couple months been a little wild. Because he was dead like months prior. He died on Halloween. He died on no like... No one knew. No one knew. Which I think is cool that like the family and everybody got to have their own time with that news and that It's experience. very surprising that no one leaked that information uh, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Him. Exactly. So it, it didn't become uh, like a, a thing. thing so the family could... Mourn properly, I guess. You or know what in, I like? A good, that healthy I'm way. Not, I didn't see any surprise MF Doom fans. Like, it wasn't like a Nipsey case where all of a sudden everyone's a Nipsey fan. Like, yeah. you was not a Nipsey fan. Yeah. Don't lie to yourself. Right. I like that MF Doom is so underground. Like, yeah. You can't even fake that funk. Yeah, you cannot you can't fake, fake that, that funk. funk. You cannot fake I that. I appreciated funk. that. Not a lot of people shouted him out. Shout out MF Doom. You cannot fake that funk. Shout out MF Doom. RIP, bro. Rest he, in peace. Him, if it. I would, I would have to say Nas. Uh, Nas, MF, Nas, I got to take a whole day out of work. Nas, yeah. I'll tell you this right no, now. No, 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 I'm saying. It I'm, might be I'm, a whole week out of work. I'm going to say, no, I'm saying in terms of my 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 influence and my taste in music, specifically rap, it's Nas, it's MF Doom, uh, it's Ghostface, and Raekwon. Those four, when I was in high school, that's what got, so like, that's what, yo, when I heard that news, that was a, that was a big one for right. me, MF Doom. No, none of the, I mean, no, no rapper that passed. So far has affected me. When Nas dies, yeah, a week off. Oh, I need yeah. a whole week I, yeah. to, by myself. Yeah, don't don't even. I don't come. want to. I don't want to speak that. I don't even want to talk, talk, talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to speak that in. Pop- shout out, yeah. I want to shout out um uh my dog Teddy. Shout Teddy, out. that's the name, right? Teddy, no, not the Bingo. The funniest part that I got about this dog is that like I was with her and my daughter, and I called my daughter Kenny, and that's Teddy. So now like I'm in that old Dominican father mode where like I get the names confused. And I'd be mm-hmm. yelling yeah, for my yeah. daughter, like, Kenny, come! Uh, yeah, yeah. Kenny! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to give my daughter treats and shit. I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing my mm. I'm losing my headline. I'm losing my wits. <laughs> this is why we got to make a move, right? Yes. I'm looking at Barstool. I'm going to send them a demo. 
Fuck. Unless, <laughs> we're just gonna send. We're gonna send it. Fuck it. If it sticks, it sticks. If it sticks, it sticks. That's it. We can't if fuck it, around no we more. We just need the money. We just need our enough money so we can le- start a legit shit of our of our own studio. Yeah, listen. And that's all we need. I don't care. I'll listen, get the Joe Budden bag or the Joe Rogan bag and the, then talk shit about. Spotify. I don't even need the Joe. I don't even need that type of bag. We just need right now, right now, boss two. If you listen, regular nine to five salaries. That's all we need. Yeah. That's all we need. Give my man Jeremy a little more. He does a little more to work. I'll take a little cut, a little less. He needs like 80. I'll take 70. I'll take 65 a year. Fuck it. He needs 80. And let's just give us a studio. And we good. Mm-hmm. We good. I that de- what well, my life dedicated to this shit. <laughs> this shit have blown fucking in a month uh-huh. or two. Guaranteed. Give me 20. And then what? <laughs> and then and then um, and then we get bigger than Boston. We yeah, and then we gotta go. <laughs> I don't nah, think we're gonna get bigger no, than them boys because no, them not. boys got nah, the them following. Boys, they, oh. They're getting like they're getting into video games now. Like they they're doing. They're nah, doing yeah, they're the doing a the thing. thing. They're doing the they're doing thing. which is smart on them. Yeah, even the rough and rowdy shit. Those are those are fun to watch. I never watched any. I watched I watched the one where Bill Burr did a, the special commentary for he did one for the pay per view. One pay per view. That's a good one. Nah, and I do like their content, and they're like they're funny, and like some of the personalities are good. But yeah, they're just a little annoying. Oh, right. Another but yeah, boss too. Yeah, what's the, you you heard? Oh, oh, we go straight Patreon. You think someone? You think we got enough people to send us five dollars a month to do anything with? Just fucking not happening. No, not not a shot. Yo, let me tell you something. I know a lot of people that waste a few dollars on nothing all month. All right, you might as well just send it to us. Yeah. So we can live our dreams. If you subscribe to OnlyFans, you ain't subscribed to our Patreon. Yeah, dickhead. Sl- yeah, yeah, dickhead. Honest question. Have you subscribed to anyone's OnlyFans yet? No. Thank God. For what? Thank God. I don't I don't see it. I don't see I don't see I don't see, see I don't, I don't see, see any it. reason why anybody at in our generation at all. at all should be paying for porn something. or nudes or anything. I, I took No no I was need. talking to my boy John the other day. Shout out to John, because holy shit, that dude is fucking a riot. Unless it's like literally somebody unless it's one of those things where it's like, oh I knew it from high school or like where you you sign up for like a month just to see what it he is. He confirmed my but suspicions like, about about OnlyFans. He said, Mike, there was a chick, just like you said, chick, we both know her. Mm-hmm. She had her OnlyFans. You know what I mean? Because I wanted him to like buy a fight this is months ago or some shit. He's like, fuck it, Mike. I'll, th- I'll throw a 25. I just gave some bitch fucking $30 on the OnlyFans, mm-hmm. saw the pictures, and I'm just fucking pissed. Like, oh, what the fuck? All right. Yeah. I seen it. I see the pussy, the titty. Okay. Yeah. Now what? Uh, now, just yeah. fucking, I just wasted thirty dollars. It's like I'm gonna, I wanna put her, her feet. Oh, she's on at seven, and she's gonna be playing with her pussy with uh, thug. You know what I'm saying because that's how it be. Is that how it works? I don't know how it works. Well, so, some people, it's like, he just, it's he like just said, Yo, Mike, premium. I got, I got to see all the pictures for thirty bucks, and after I seen them, I said, damn, I'm gonna waste thirty dollars. Like I'm pissed. Well, yeah, I guess exactly. there's levels of OnlyFans. I'm like, I'm talking about like the porn level of OnlyFans, but like, no, no, yeah. that's another. I don't that's even, another I thing. Didn't know that that but that's my, existed. that's my point. It's just like, why are you gonna pay for porn or any type right. of pornographic shit yes. unless it's like what you just said? And even then, you said it, it sounded like it was a dub. But I was like, you're not. There's a girl from if some if my boy texts me, if my group chat hit me up right now. It's like, yo, a couple short, in my yo, shorty got OnlyFans. Yeah, and so it's it's the one that I'm you're like, thinking yeah, about. <laughs> The yep. one, because you're, yeah. Why you saying that? You already thinking about a chick that you that you're already in your head. That chick right there, that one right there. Yeah, but head. it's not even like if the she said. I, if they, your boy said, yo, so <laughs> so got the OnlyFans. You're subscribing just to see it. Just to see it. Yeah, you are. Yeah, just you to are. see it. I I, I probably would. I knew you would. I, I like I said. So like game. I said, I, in my head, I, not that I have anyone that I said maybe I would subscribe to, but I'm just like, what's the who blah about? And my man, let me know. They're showing titties and pussy, but it's just like, after that, it's just like, okay, now what? Nothing. I just wasted $30. Yeah. I threw $30. Yeah. I could have, I could have went on the PlayStation, so I could have came up off the sale. Fuck the PlayStation. Fuck PlayStations. My one comment shit. about, this, so I feel you on that. I, I more just feel, right now, I just have nothing to play, but my fear is, it's just like, I don't see developers creating anything that I want to play. For the PS5, I like don't, I don't see, I don't see anything that's gonna catch. Like, it's just like some crazy, like M- the only thing that'll catch me is like some crazy, like MMO, like RPG type game multiplayer that'll come out that all my friends are playing. Like that's the only thing. Yeah, maybe even then, I, I don't even know. Cause look, like, right now I'm just banging. With, I'm still, I'm if, still playing Breath of the in Wild. In reality, I like even beat it. quarantine is the best time to go crazy on it and you didn't right and i didn't so it's just like at this point it's just like look if i have two weeks of not doing nothing and that shit didn't call me in these two weeks mm-hmm. that's what it is if you're not in a ba- if, i feel it's like dead. us two specifically we're not in a battle royale and it's like at this at this point in video games if you're not in a battle royale then oh. there's nothing for you out oh, there right God. now like that shoot me now or like yeah 
That's how I feel. I I try playing Apex isn't bad, but just because it's like not as fucking try hard as uh as Warzone. Where? But like I literally know. like I tried Warzone like the first day of quarantine with my boy. <clears throat> got fucked up the first match, and I said, John, why am I doing this to myself? Why am yeah. I? I'm not. Do- I'm not doing this yeah. to myself no more. Uh, Done. Well, I think we are wrapping up there. Ball bags. Until Word. next time. Word. Um, holla. Holla. Holla.